you're going to say it. Uh, Schleim is technically a thing from Rick and Morty, and it's like a part of a plumbus, but independently, it's also just a fun word I made up. Interesting. Alright, so we are live. I posted Let's a message, I closed Twitter, spam it at all the discords. Every Yo, last true. one of the discords. Every last one's gonna be spammed in. Mm -hmm. If they didn't like it, they shouldn't have let me in. <laughs> you can post it in ours too. Oh, thank you. I an announcement. Same. Yeah, Mocha's is automatic. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Rocky set up the Discord. I have no power in it. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, let's see. Digimon Group needs to know. Digimon Group absolutely needs to know. Here it is. Whenever I join a new group and they're like, here's a self-promotion channel, I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I have one of those. You do. I feel weird using people's self-promotion channels, so I never do. Yeah, I use yours, got it, but that's it. Well, the trick is knowing where you're welcome, I guess. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Hello, Jen. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Jen. Monkey. Hello, June. Hey, to the stream. thank you for the sub. Stream, baby. <laughs> Yay. Hello. Okay. I will give you a jolly jangle in just a second. I have to spam like one or two more places. And then oh, head shit. Hmm? Heads up. Uh, Y'all are going to want to take your headphones off when he jolly jangles. It is <laughs> very loud in the headphones. Now, now. Come for on us now. specifically, not for chat. Yeah, yeah. No. For, for us, not for chat. Chat's okay. fine. So that should be everything on Discord, I think. Yes. Yes. Amazing. All right. Lower this. Keep that up. Okay. Hello, Neb. Welcome to the stream. You know what's surprisingly Hello. difficult? Not messing up. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Ooh. Maybe don't yeah, make what? those noises. <laughs> what about Ara Ara? Okay. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, those are PG thirteen. I guess. I guess. Hello, I mean, Vale Doran. Just... Welcome to the stream. Ara Ara is just OAC or whatever. Hello, Atelier Beck. Welcome to the stream. Wh what a way to open. I think Raglan said Schleem at the very beginning. So like- uh, I was going to, but I did not. I mean, we were rolling and you did say it multiple times. So- Did I say it when we were live though? Yeah, you did. I, I, think it's, I think it's one of the very first things that show up on the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Terrible, terrible words. Can't believe it. Cause I know I was gonna say it, but I didn't actually. How could you steal my post? I um sorry. Oh, that's the wrong channel. You're not supposed to be able to complain about that. <sighs> we'll be getting started properly in just one minute. Everyone get comfy. Grab your popcorn, grab your snacks. Get a glass of water. There we go. People who I haven't seen in my chat before, welcome in, welcome in. I have held your favorite content creators hostage as a way to trick you into joining my channel. You have fallen for my elaborate ruse. Nah, this is all part of my 5G chess, this is fine. You, you anticipated me holding you at banana point? Yep. Damn. One step ahead of me, at all times. <laughs> Truly a genius mastermind. Hello, Thelios. Welcome to the stream. Popcorn's Jun good. Like, 
popcorn's jun good? Popcorn's good jun was the sentence that I had in my head, <laughs> and the lords decided they'd all rush out at the same time, and it did not come out in order. They just went, we know what order we go in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got I am, and popcorn. I'm just very nervous and trying not to show it, so. It has been a while. Nice. Welcome hey. back. Nice to meet you. Very nervous. I'm Raglan. New Gata drawing? Where? Where? Which one? I actually haven't put up the newest Gata drawing. Uh, the one that Apple uh, made of me and Chibi <gasps> Raglan. I haven't included yes. that in the, in the, in the parade yet. Mm, mm, mm. Do you have it set up to cycle through a folder? Uh, yeah. But I have to resize yeah. it, otherwise it'll... Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. To save on uh, computing space, all the images are, like, compressed mm -hmm. to fit the space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, Fa. Welcome to the stream. He made it, and he has his GameCube DK bongos ready. I'm jealous. Yeah, mine are in Virginia with my mom. Good for your mom, I guess? I mean, yeah, she doesn't actually play video games. That's just where all my old stuff is. I mean, she still has the Donkey Kong bongos, which means she's doing better than you. So... Uh, yes. That was if, true. If anything, I'm jealous of your mom. Hello, Bandit! Welcome to the stream. <gasps> and it doesn't have an appendix board. anymore. And Idiot Brigade just followed me. So, uh, Idiot Brigade, you get a jolly jangle of the cheer bell. Everyone cool. in the call, shield your ears. Ahem. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, like they're like, shield your ears, and then Discord just completely removes the noise. It really did. Did it? Always it did. It removed yeah. the noise oh, for you guys. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's I... good. It wasn't doing it before, so I definitely took my headphones off. <laughs> yeah, during Mario Party. I was Mario curious Party. how loud it was, because I'm a glutton for punishment, apparently. Uh, but. during Mario Party, I blasted everyone in the Discord call with my, my uh, cowbell, and they were like, What the fuck? <laughs> Alrighty They just then. don't appreciate the jolly jangle. They you? don't. They absolutely don't. <laughs> And they should. Uh, Bandit, the original is on. Uh, I guess you're saying on your Wii. I mean, if you have a copy, play it on a Wii. Like, yeah. In my personal opinion, GameCube controllers definitely beats anything else. Hello, yeah, but Taku. if you have a GameCube, if you have a GameCube adapter, then emulator is just fine. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, we are going to get started. Let's go! Yay! Howdy, farmhands! My name is Gata, and welcome to the stream. Oh shit, we got some resubscribes already. You waited until we started. Thank you so much. Uh, let me do the intro first, and then I'll get your uh, Jolly Jangles in short order. Uh, today, I am joined by uh, my good friend Tegan from the Impossible Coin Podcast. Say hello, Tegan. Hi, Tegan! Uh, I am joined by Mocha, Mocha Mage on Twitch. Say hello, Mocha. Mocha. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, they're dead. Oh no, no, there they are. There they are. Is it not picking up? Oh no, I was. It, so, didn't, I... it didn't pick up at first. It was said silence on my end, so I was like, oh no, um, oh no. I screamed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we have Prince Raglan. Say hello, Raglan. Hello, future subjects of Ragland. Oh, I see how it is. Is this the 5D chess you're talking about? You, co you come to That's my farm? I see. I see how it is. But yes, I welcome- I think your farm oh. is in Ragland. I mean, Gata? not by choice. Yes, Mocha. How easy is it for you to change the the wording? Because you got my username wrong. What? Because Twitch is stupid! Wait, what do you mean? My username on Twitch is Mocha Mages with an God. S. Fucking damn it. I- I checked your tw You know what? You know what? Never mind. You know what? These are- these It's are a mocha mage everywhere else. Yeah. I am so you know sorry. What? <laughs> you know- It's- You know what? No. I'm officially stating that the, 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 the credits there are for our Twitters. If they want to find you on Twitch, they can go from there because... Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I was like- I was literally like yesterday, like trying- like- I had to like dig uh, through, uh, through Raglan's Twitter to find the exact name of the person who made the art that we're using for the PNG tuber. So I was like Sherlock Holmesing my way, trying to make sure everyone was properly, properly credited. So 
yeah, we're just gonna say that that links to Twitter, and we will go from there. It's really uh, funny though is that I have a I have an art command in my in my channel and it just links straight to that. Twitter uh, listen, <laughs> listen. Gata has not claimed to be a smart man. I've never claimed to be a smart man. Never. Not once in my life. All right. So, uh, as you guys in chat are probably well aware of by now, this is a very bizarre setup compared to uh, everything else that I normally do. We are playing a tabletop role-playing game. It's a hack of lasers and feelings called Steel and Spirits. It's a very simple game. I'll explain the rules in a second. Uh, but basically, uh, our my, my three illustrious friends here have created characters, and we are going to go on an adventure in Donkey Kong Country. So, everyone like say yay or woo or something. Act, act, act thrilled. Uh, hee hee hoo hoo. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, first of all, you guys will notice there are little guys be bopping down on the audience. That's you. Uh, if you guys post emotes or subscribe or, you know, and do any of the normal follower stuff, the little guys down in the audience will react. Go ahead and start spamming some emotes right now to see what happens because it's very fun. It's very fun. Yep, there you go. They they start dancing with some bananas. Uh, unfortunately, it's not one to one, so each individual spam will cause more bananas to happen. But if something cool happens during the game, make sure to let us know uh, so that we know that we're doing a good job. It's the closest we have to clapping. All right. Okay, maybe you could stop spamming the emotes now. You could maybe stop. That's that's that's, that's enough. That's enough slices. That's enough slices. All brisket. <laughs> Just so many mischief emotes. I have made a terrible mistake. A terrible, terrible mistake. You All did. Right. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, let me go over the rules of the game real quick. Uh, each individual character has only one stat. They have a single number. Uh, they have a list of abilities and uh, information about themselves on their character sheet, which I cannot show on screen, but trust me, they have it. And they will be determining, based on that information, how many D6s they're rolling. Let me go ahead and actually pull it up right now. As you can see, there are these little balloons floating by uh, my player's heads that will tell you guys what number it is they're aiming for. If the action their character is taking is... Uh, uh, critical, calculated, or cold-hearted, uh, it will be a steel roll, and they want their dice to be under their number. Uh, if they are doing something emotional, warm-hearted, or kind of a knee-jerk kind of reaction, they, it's going to be a spirit, and it's going to be over their number. Uh, if, for, if they were to land any dice exactly on their number, in this case for Tegan and Raglan, it would be a three, and for Mocha, it's a two, they will receive a banana token, which is something special and we'll we'll get to that when it comes up in play uh but when it happens uh this will go off and i'm gonna have mochas go off just because oh banana, <laughs> oh, banana. i can't hear it on banana. mine unfortunately it's so. amazing i'm i'm glad you think so i'm glad you think so all right banana. let's put this away and let's get started everyone take a quick stretch my back definitely popped. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. Alrighty then. So. The adventure begins in a busy airport. Uh, somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, toads are running by with carts full of luggage. The occasional Pianta is uh, in a concierge outfit, is guiding guests to and from their gates. Uh, and uh, the three of you are getting ready to go on vacation. Yeah. Uh, let's let, go. Let me ask, uh, let's do it in order. Uh, Tegan, why don't you mm -hmm. tell us who your character is and uh, where she's planning on going for her vacation? Uh, I am the illustrious Princess Eclair. I have been visiting the Mushroom Kingdom from my home 
in uh, the Waffle Kingdom. Uh -huh. And I'm planning on returning. I'm actually on my way back, but I will be stopping by to visit Princess Daisy on my way home. So you're planning on uh, going to Sarasaland and then back to the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, but it's just a short visit, you know, for business. For this business. was my trip for pleasure. For business. Uh, your your single uh, bag of luggage is being carried over the head of your little pancakey familiar, uh, Short Stack, who is uh, struggling to uh, hold its weight, but it is keeping in time with you. Um, and Absolutely. At, as you as you uh, walk briskly along, uh, Short Stack is repeatedly mumbling. Did you have a voice in mind for Short Stack? Out of curiosity. Mm. Nope, go for it. You you just want me to come up with on the fly? Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, something like small and annoying, you know. <laughs> something like small and toads. annoying? I'm going for like yeah, five on the worst. Like Amazing. Uh, that is short, beautiful. Short stack uh, <laughs> attempts to like uh, balance the suitcase on her head while reaching into her back pocket to pull out some papers. Uh, she has your tickets, and she says, According to this, we have to go to Gate F in order to get to the flight in Sarasaland. Um, do you know which way that is, Princess? Because I can't really see anything. <laughs> of course I do. Bold of you to assume that I couldn't read. It's this way. And I, like, gesture broadly in, like, the general direction we need to head, and then just walk off with, like, big sunglasses on and a large sun hat. <laughs> uh, short stack uh, toddles after you, apologizing. I'm so sorry, Princess, I didn't mean to apply! Uh, but obviously you've stopped paying attention to whatever she has to say. Of course. Uh, Goomp. Goomp the Goomba. Uh, why, why, uh, Mocha, why don't you introduce Goomp and tell me, uh, where is Goomp going? So, Goomp is a low member of Bowser's army, just wanting to get away. He's just, it's just kind of a job. He's just there. He's like a young kid, you know. He's on his way to a, a, um, a dentistry convention because he just wants to be a dentist. A right? De a dentistry convention. I love it already. <laughs> he just wants to be a dentist. Uh, for 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 clarification, it was inspired by that dentist stuff from that one. <laughs> uh, Hermie, that one right? From Rudolph. Classic. I, yeah. I was like, why weren't you at elf practice? But instead of elf practice, it's like, why weren't you at troop practice or whatever? Amazing. Um, Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. So he's got he's got his fancy toothbrush, and he's just kind of walking through the terminals to his place. Uh, yeah. He's excited. Uh, uh, Goomp is uh, walking through the terminal, uh, looking for any sort of sign of where his flight is meant to be. And there is, in fact, a big banner that has, like, Chip Skylark uh, plastered on it <laughs> with a big <laughs> shiny teeth and a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, you're like, uh, there's a big arrow pointing towards the proper gate. So Goomp knows that he's in the uh, right location. Uh, however, as he is looking about trying to find his gate, he actually notices someone who he recognizes, another member of Bowser's troop. Uh, Raglan, why don't you introduce Rama and uh, explain where he's going on vacation? Alrighty. Well, Rama is the best character in the game. Uh, and That's to be he seen. is. I mean, I believe it, frankly. Uh, he literally has amazing in his, it's like in his DNA, he is an amazing, an amazing flying hammer brother. Mm hmm. Um, which were briefly seen in Super Mario World. Um, he has one of those like flying pedestal things with eyes on it and wings. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, he has. Very similar features to uh, the most royal person at the table right now. I see, I see. And he is on his way to the Samur Kingdom to witness the uh, Duel of a Hundred tournament. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. You mentioned that your winged flying block can only hover so far above the ground. Approximately how high can that thing hover? Uh, I would say like permanently relative to the ground so it might defy physics a little bit if there's like a sheer drop mm -hmm. um about two feet maybe one two feet okay so unfortunately you can't like you can probably clear over goomp's head but the average mushroom kingdom citizen you can't mm -hmm. just fly over everyone to get where you need to be no but like uh, the mushroom kingdom has inextricably like tall stairs sometimes and mm -hmm. it can like hop up those okay 
<laughs> uh, Goomp, you notice because the shadow goes over your head uh, as Rama <laughs> flies yep, yep. past you. Do you call out to this person that you're aware of, or do you just let him go? Hmm, that's a good question. What kind of relationship think... do you imagine Goomp and Rama would have? Would they know each other or just know I... of each other? I feel like it would just be a no of each other because I I think would I mean I don't know where Goomp is or not Goomp uh, uh Ram, Rama is in the uh, like in the army or whatever or in the mm -hmm. troops but like Goomp is just like very low level he's just kind of doing like henchman work and stuff so don't think they'd really know each other unless Rama's also at that level. Mm -hmm. Professional hench. Professional. For hench. clarification, Rama is an elite, so he's up there with the Goomp Patrol. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, so that that would be, like, my superior. So I feel like if it would be more, like, Rama saw Goomp and, like, said something, but I feel like Goomp is just kind of, like, sort of thing. It would kind of be, like, a new recruit in the army witness, yeah. like, a general in... Maybe not a general, but, like, a, a high-ranking officer in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. All righty, then. So you get to see fucking Admiral Rama, who you know of as being <laughs> higher up in your organization, just kind of flap through, passes you over. Turns out, people in high places need vacations as well. Who would have thunk it? Mm -hmm. um, all just like us. <laughs> yeah, just like you, yeah. Our eyes, like, wow. I wonder uh if he's also going to the dentist or <laughs> 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 Um, All three of you, uh, walking along your individual paths are coming up to an intersection. Uh, Princess Eclair and Short Stack is coming from one side, uh, Rama and Goomp coming from another, and as you guys pass each other in the exact center of this intersection, uh, you hear a voice ca call out, COMING THROUGH! And you all look up to see a cart filled with luggage rushing at you guys at top speed. Uh, if you do not do something, it is going to crash into all of you. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, being the super cool elite troop that I am, I am simply going to pull a fantastic flying maneuver. An amazing flying maneuver, if, if you, you will. will. Yes. All right. And uh, dodge pull that down sucker. the dice, and I will ask you to let's do the first roll of the game. Whoop. So, what kind of maneuver are you planning on doing? I'm gonna do the classic, move slightly like out of the way. Move <laughs> slightly out of the way. All right. But very cool while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. I would, see. Would that be a steel or a spirit roll? Do you think? Is this cold and calculated? Absolutely or? steel. Absolutely steel. All right. So here's how it works. You're always gonna roll at least one d6. You always roll at least one d6. Um, you look at your expertises, of which you have two. Do either of your expertises apply to this action? Amazing flying. Amazing flying is one of your expertises, so you can get an additional D6. Click on the blue D6 on the uh, row above at Unroll Dice with Friends to add a D6 to your pool. And it should show up on our end, if you do. I've already done it, so... Oh, it did not show up on our end. All right. Oh, I see it on your end. You should have two D6. Oh, I only grabbed one because... Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, yep. You always start off with one, and then your expertise counts as your second dice. In my mind, I keep thinking you add up the total. I'm like, that wouldn't help me at all. No, no, it would not help you, unfortunately. All right. Thankfully, that's not how that works. It is not. So go ahead and uh, hit roll it, and you said this is going to be steel, right? So you want to get a th you want to get threes or under. That is one success. Congratulations. So with, with one success, you're able to accomplish the thing you're trying to do, uh, but there's a complication that goes along with it. So uh, Rama uh, attempts to uh, do a really cool move out of the way. Let me ask you, Raglan, what's more important to Rama, that he gets out of the way or that he looks cool while doing it? Looks cool. Looks cool. All right. So uh, Rama attempts to get out of the way, but realizes at the last second, like there's not going to be enough clearance. Uh, so instead, uh, he uh, moves his body so that when the cart rams into him, it puts his entire block into a spin as though he was intending to do that. 
uh, what would either of the other of you two like to do with this card coming at you? Uh, I'm just like looking over my notes. <laughs> Goomp isn't is a fast reader, not a, a fast observer. Uh huh. I'd say he just gets toppled about. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even notice. Over. <laughs> Okay. Get squished, dies. Maybe get like a little that little squish animation, and then it just like, waddles a couple seconds and then pops back up. <laughs> yes, Ex perfect. I love it. Oh no. Yeah. So the cart hits Rama. It sends Rama into a tailspin, uh, but it just completely bowls over Goomba. It doesn't even slow down, and what's left behind is a flattened Goomba, uh, and Goom just kind of sadly waddles forward a little bit before popping back into a uh, back into shape. Tegan, what is Princess Eclair going to do? Uh, I'm going to like push my suitcase backwards as I take a few steps back um, mm -hmm. to hopefully like direct my attendant to move. Um, and then I'm actually going to order the toads to stop. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead and uh you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just let you have that. A short stack is very easily able to go along with any direction. You put your hand on the bag and like, she immediately is like a rag doll in your hand. She's just like, yep, nope, I'm doing whatever you tell me to do, the instant you say it. <laughs> uh, you push her back. And what do you do to command the toads uh, to stop? Uh, I use my expertise of giving orders. <laughs> okay, all right. What, what's the command you're going to, uh, to um cry out? So I'm going to put, I'm going to like step out of the, like essentially try to step back out of the way of the car, um, mm -hmm. put a hand on my hip in a very regal manner, point at the cart and say, hey, you need to slow down. The moment you say that, uh, the toad that was like hanging onto the back and flapping in the wind as you realize, oh, this was a runaway cart, uh, somehow manages to jam his heels down onto the ground and with a loud screech, uh, the cart does in fact come to a halt. Uh, a few feet away past a lot of you. Uh, the toad attendant looks up uh, very sheepishly and says, Sorry about that! Um, yeah! Was anybody hurt? You definitely <laughs> ran over at least one little Goombaling. Oh dear! Yeah, oh gosh! Just kind of wa <laughs> waddled over like, oh! <laughs> Uh, the, the toad attendant, uh, hops over and says, Oh dear, oh my, uh, sorry about that, uh, Goomba. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me give you a, um, uh, oh dear, my boss is gonna kill me for this. Uh, let me, let me give you a, a complimentary, uh, and like reaches into his little pocket and pulls out like a single spearmint. Says, uh, complimentary <laughs> candy. Here you go. And just kind of drops it on Goomba's head before turning tail and running off. Very excitedly grab it. The fact that a spearmint makes me very excited. I'm grateful. Quick, someone write that down in the lore. <laughs> Goomp now has a single spearmint candy. Da da da. Let's go. Let's fucking Wait, no, go. That's the Wait, what's the what's the Mario sound effect for getting an item? I immediately eat it. Um, uh, plum. Sure. Jud asks, "Is Goomp allowed to have candy though? They're a dentist." Goomp, Goomp knows knows proper dental care. Also, it's the dentist flavor. The dentist flavor. Also, the dentist flavor. <laughs> the dentist flavor. The way you say Goomp that sounds like he's isn't a dentist. Yet, isn't yet a dentist. He wants uh, to be a dentist. So this he's is a, like an aspiring dentist. This is like one of his childish faults in his like dentist path. Yeah. He must eventually overcome his desire for spearmint, but he's not there yet. Yeah. That day will come. No, you're right. Uh, with uh, all of the excitement out of the way, uh, the three of you are now have a clear path to continue towards your gates. Um, and as you uh, all kind of coalesce into the crowd and let yourselves get pushed along, uh, the camera does pan up from where the lot of you are uh, focused on your path ahead of you to show that the gate you are headed to is in fact gate H, but none of you know. <gasps> dun dun I you're gonna... dun. Now you're gonna say the camera pans up and the title like appears. No, not fades yet. In. That's 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 two more uh, two more slides ahead because I have slides gotcha, for gotcha, this. Gotcha. Ooh, I believe it. Uh, actually, hold on. For the audience's sake, I believe I actually have like an airplane noise that I can. 
There we go. For Let's help. Go. Thank you, Jin. Gate H for hell. Gate H for <laughs> hell. That's the gates of hell. No, it's not. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. The H stands for honky hong. <laughs> honky hong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once you guys find your way onto your flight and uh, get yourselves set into your seats, uh, you guys take off. Uh, you hear the voice of uh, the toad. Uh, uh, pilot over the intercom. Uh, it's a little muffled, as you know, intercoms tend to be. So it's like, have a nice flight! And then it cuts off. Uh, what are you, you guys... Do you mind repeating that with a oh. regular voice that did not go through Discord? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I thought that was the point of it. I thought you were muffling it on purpose. I was muffling yeah, it okay. on purpose, yeah. I thought it like cut out entirely for you on Discord, but no, 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 no. That I was I mean, purposefully. It, it did mumbling. like. <laughs> yeah, it did like only come out in bits and pieces, but I thought that was for our immersion. <laughs> Have a nice flight. Great. Perfect. Uh, so why did the music stop? Anyway, uh, so you guys have gotten onto your flight and you've gotten into your seats. Uh. Eclair is naturally in uh, the front of the uh, of the of the the, the plane. Uh, what is your intentions to uh, keep yourself busy during this long flight? Um, I have a magazine, of course, and then I have like some <laughs> royal decrees I'm supposed to be looking at, but like I don't feel like it right now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's more of like a private matter, so I'll do that later. Uh, I have a question for you. Does Shortstack have her own chair, or is she going into the little the pocket dimension of yours? She should have her own chair, I think. Aww, how she's she's sitting in the chair next to you, kicking her little feetsies, happy as a clam. She wasn't expecting to actually have like her own spot on the plane for like a money saving measure. So the fact that you inc had included her to have her out. Uh, really makes her like happy she's just been smiling to herself the entire time uh i am absolutely also using her as like an armrest like a slightly higher one so like i'll lean on her periodically with like my elbow right in the <laughs> middle of her like soft uh pancakey head uh the squish of her face like like it just like distends her face a little bit as it like bulges out from the from the effort but she is unaffected because she's a pancake person and this doesn't hurt and she's just happy to be of service she's just glad to be along um, one thing She's that you have noticed. Attended. <laughs> one thing that you have noticed is that despite being in the air for a hot minute, uh, no no uh, concierge has come by to offer you like beverages or a snack or anything. <gasps> As a matter of fact, aside from the other two passengers you saw uh, boarding the plane with you, the plane appears to be empty. Ridiculous. <laughs> Frankly ridiculous. How long have we been on this flight? 30 minutes? Unacceptable. Uh, short stack from under your elbow pipes up and says, if, if you want, Princess, I can go in the trees if I can find somebody. Maybe they're just busy with the passengers in the back and haven't got up here yet. <gasps> passengers in the back before royalty? Absurd. Please do. Uh, and uh, short stack says, of course, your wish is my command. And then she like gently moves your elbow so she can hop down, gives a little bow, and uh, toddles back to the uh, the back rows. He's so uh, cute. Goop or Rama, uh, you two are basically just the only other people on this plane. You got in, you oh. found your seats, and then nobody else came on, and then the plane took off. Uh, what are you guys? <laughs> what are you guys doing uh, with uh, your time? I have downed a Motrin, and I am mumbling and grumbling about how horrible the flighting is. <laughs> is Rama like going on about how like he knows how to fly uh, much better than this and if any real aerial artist uh, would do better? Exactly. They have not done a single flip yet. <laughs> a single flip. Amateur <laughs> hour. Honestly. Fucking amateur hour. What about you, Goomp? What's your in-flight plan? Uh, Goomp's gonna uh, do we? Is, what kind of plane? Like, does it have like the in, in like the built-in TVs or whatever? Yes. Oh, absolutely! Or... It has a little screens on the back of the seats in front of you, and like the overhead yeah. storage. Yeah. There's a little tray you yeah. can pull down. 
this it yeah. reclines all of like <laughs> 10 degrees but is technically reclines nice 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 so does Google uh, pull up an in-flight movie you going to pull up an in-flight movie? Uh, he's 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 a smart kid. He's going to look for some documentaries. Of course, he's going to look for some like medical or dentistry documentaries first. Uh, um, does he find any? Yeah, no. He actually found a very finds a very fascinating documentary about the medicinal applications of uh, bean bean beans. Uh, they're normally just used for like soft drinks, but it turns out that there's like a certain ingredient, and the documentary goes on about the potential applications. Uh, oh. It, uh, Goomb is absolutely. Whoops, my thing fell down. IRL. That should not have happened. Oops. I'm good. <laughs> How Nintendo gonna steal this for the rumored DK movie? If Seth Rogen <laughs> is forced to like record my script, I mean, I'll let him have it. I'll fucking let him have it. Uh, what but no. Of and Waffle of King and lore. Kind of off topic, but fun fact: Seth Rogen for a very limited time was the voice of our local Sky Train, which is like our like uh, the Metro here in Vancouver. Oh That's shit! Amazing. And then they they changed it because nobody liked it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Poor Mr. Rogen. He's gonna get money for the Nintendo movie, so he's probably fine. Uh, as uh, as you're watching this movie, uh, Goomp, you do see a single person walk by you. Um, it is a, a small pancake person with a butter cap, a butter butter patty for a hat, uh, and she uh, pads down and she pauses as she notices that you're in the seat. Being a Goomba, you're like properly hidden unless she's like looking at you. Uh, and she comes to a stop uh, and uh, she looks at you, Goomp, and she says, "Um, excuse me." I look back. Has, has there been an attendant by recently? Have they gotten you snacks or anything? No, no. Oh, not not that I'm aware. Huh? And she looks around. And says, "Um, okay. I guess I'll just I'll just keep looking. If you see one, could you please let them know that the princess in uh in the front uh, is in need of assistance?" Princess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Princess yeah. Claire. Goompa's like gonna like sink down in his seat just a bit, be like, "Oh, there's a princess. Oh god," and just kind of like nod, be like, "Yep, got it." <laughs> uh, she gives a little bow and toddles off. Uh, she goes to like communicate with the Rama, but then notices that Rama is like not fully conscious and is like, mm, "Maybe not." And she pads to the back of the of the plane. Uh, a, f <laughs> a few seconds later, uh, you hear <laughs> as she runs the exact opposite direction, uh, and she runs to the front and disappears into the front section. Just curious how, okay, so I'm picturing Goomp to be like a foot tall. How tall is Shortstack? Shortstack would be about the same size as Goomp. Okay. They're, they're, they're like toad size. Yeah, they're equally like the toadies of their respective organizations. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you want to be taller than short stack? Short stack is called short stack. Um, I think from a, at a glance, they should be like they should look the same height. But unless for some reason we have a reason to compare, then we can roll for it or something. <laughs> Okay. Based on the art, they seem to be about the same size. Short stack has the circumference being made of like three fluffy pancakes stacked on top of each other, but the only reason that the height is the same is because she's wearing the butter patty hat. Remove the hat, and it's actually, she's a shorter one. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, she runs She runs past you guys, heading towards the front, looking very, very concerned. Uh, do either of you respond, or do you go back to what you're doing? Either option is available. Uh, so she just disappears into the front, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably like peek out and watch her run into the front. But because, you know, I'm low level army and, you know, used to being told what to do, I'm gonna just keep staying in my seat okay. unless it's absolutely necessary. Because I'm just like, I don't want to screw anything up or Bowser's gonna be mad at me again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one of those sly, like, like I've lived a, a life sort of like peaks like with one eye one eye open just like hmm? out of curiosity 
then grumble a little bit and go back to like trying to just take a nap. <laughs> Perfect. Um, in the in the special section up front, uh, Shortstack comes rushing back in, looking winded, uh, and she comes over to uh, Princess Eclair and she says, "Um, Princess, um, um, there doesn't appear to be any attendants on the plane." Um, I, I'm gonna go contact the pilot. Maybe they're in the front, but I, there's only two other passengers, and that—that's it. Please do. Perhaps they knew I was on here, and it's just a special flight for me. Short sack is like winces a little bit. She goes, "No, I'm, I'm pretty certain that we paid extra for for special treatment, like the full package." Um, this is strange, princess. Uh. I'll I'll go see the pilot, I guess. Is yes, that... go see the pilot. Okay, I'll see what they're doing. Okay. Now that she has like an order, she goes from being like concerned and questionable to being like, ah, I have a job, and uh, she <laughs> nods. I have a job. <laughs> Damn, I wish that were me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, is she economy? she heads for she heads for uh, the front. There is there's a door. Um, that separates the pilot from the rest of you, and she tentatively gives it a knock. And, uh, Eclair, you can hear this because of your positioning in the front, but you hear uh, a toad voice coming through the door, and then Shortstack, like, speaking back to it. Uh, and after a few minutes, uh, she returns, looking a little pale, and, uh, she says, Princess? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think we're on the wrong flight. Possible. I'm never wrong. Mm, we're supposed to be going to Sarasaland, right? Yes. Yeah, no, that's that's not where this plane is going, actually. Well, where's the plane going? Well, it's going to... And before she can say anything, the entire spaceship... Uh, spaceship? Uh, airship? Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Jesus. Surprise! Yeah. To space. Surprise! You're going cool. to the moon! You're going to the moon! No. Yo, Raphael? <laughs> no, the entire uh, plane uh, lurches to one side, oh, roughly. Uh, I'm uh, picturing... Excuse me. Sorry. I, I'm picturing Goopy, like, in the aisle seat on the right side. So, like, what way does the... The plane lean. Does he fall out of his seat onto the, into the the uh, walkway? No, the plane lurches to the left, meaning that Goomp would probably, unless he's not buckled in, uh, would probably stay on his side of the plane. Maybe he'd smack against the window. Uh, what side is uh, what side is Rama sitting on in your mind's eye? Uh, window seat, right side. He is safely fastened in. But it's also definitely going to be slammed into the side of the plane. Oh yeah, absolutely. You are slammed into the side of the plane, which definitely w wakes Rama up from whatever half nap he had already managed to acquire. Uh, in the front, the short stack is like bodily thrown from one side of the cab to another, and her butter patty hat splats against it in a in a big like Nicktoon style logo. And she goes, "Oh, that was my favorite hat." Um, Princess uh -huh. Eclair, were you buckled in, or do you also get yoinked around? I was buckled in. You were buckled in. Safety right. first. Safety first. Princess Eclair is jostled about, uh, but luckily, by the time the plane rewrites itself to a proper proper position, um, you, you most of you guys are all safe. Uh, short stack goes to this stand up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Short stack goes to like reach up and grab her butter hat before the plane lurches to the exact opposite side, sending her flying into the opposite side of the aisle. She goes, ah, splat. The plane appears to be, yeah, the plane appears to be rocking back and forth repeatedly. Does anyone want to try and do something about this? Or are you just going to batten down the hatches? I'm going to go complain to the awful pilot who's doing it. Yeah, I'd also like to complain to the pilot. Terrible job. Um, yeah. I'm going right. to put short stack away. This is ridiculous. We can't get butter everywhere. Uh, short stack. Short stack is recalled not unlike a Pokemon and swoops into <laughs> your, uh, your personal hammer space. She goes, what? And then she's gone. Hammer space? Where can I give me that? 
pancake space. <laughs> pancake space. Cake space. Uh, Goomp is very observant because he's he's got to be when he's you know doing patrol and stuff. So he's just gonna kind of peek out into the um, the walkway and just kind of watch what's going on, keep an eye out, and just kind of yeah try to try to figure out what the best move is. But for the most part, just stay. Uh, one second, I need to take a call. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Uh, well, in that case, uh, as the plane lur lurches from one side to another, uh, Tegan, how is Princess Claire going to make her way up to the pilot's door without being yoinked all over the place by the plane as it moves? Uh, so what she's going to do is she's going to brace herself between the two, like, seats, mm -hmm. essentially. So, like, so that she's, like, you know what I mean. So, like, right, her right, hips right. will hit, like, the seats that are standing, and then whenever it's in between, like, rolling she's gonna take a step forward to like get to the next set of seats okay i'm gonna need you to roll to determine whether or not you are able to uh successfully get to the pilot's area without being yoinked about Ooh. okay um i think this is only a thing for doing Oops. so only one so, d6 only one d6 all right and your number is three was this seal or spirit uh i think it's a it's i'm physically doing a thing so i think it's Steel. Okie doke. This isn't like an emotional like reaction thing. This is like this is ridiculous. Mm hmm. Ugh. Unfortunately, nope. <laughs> unfortunately, that is far too high for it to be successful. Uh, so it is my heels. These dang heels. The dang heels. You managed to make it up the first couple of rows, uh, but when you're in the middle of uh, of a row moving forward, uh, the plane lurches kind of like off beat and throws you uh, to the window of one of the aisles, uh, and you smack does... it. Hmm. Sorry, does Goomp see this? Yeah, you would see, you would see, you look down the aisle and you would see this uh, this person wearing a fancy looking dress, uh, slowly making her way up and then be bodily yoinked to one side and disappear from your sight. I'm gonna like wince, be like, ooh. Mm. Mm. Definitely do like a Mario approved swear, you know? It's like sweets and treats. Sweets and treats. Uh, as your head uh, bang, your perfectly stylized hair is ruffled as your head bangs against uh, the window of this seat. Um, and you f feel a little dizzy for a okay? second. I'm sorry? Are her teeth okay? Her teeth are fine. <laughs> you Don't have to worry. come inspect my mouth to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, ha we'll have you roll to determine if you can determine if she has any sort of dental <laughs> damage. Um, cool, got it. <laughs> probably a cavity in there. Let's be real. <laughs> Honestly, all those all those fancy royal treats, definitely a cavity. Mm -hmm. But you can afford the surgery for it, so like it balances out. It's surgery? I don't think cavities are surgery. I mean, is it? I mean, filling? I, I don't know. Uh. Honestly, it's the Mario universe, so there's probably like like a do like a Doctor Mario esque giant pill. They're like, we'll just bop you on the head with this, and you'll magically have good teeth. And they do. Dentist and Mario. That'll be five hundred dollars. Thanks. 500 coins, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, Princess Eclair smacks her head against the window, uh, and when her vision clears, she can actually see out the window onto the wing. And that's when you notice uh, that one of the engines uh, that were attached to the, out the wing on the outside is comedically not there. Uh, there's like a, a, a dotted outline blinking where the wing engine was supposed to be, uh, but now there's just a big hunk, uh, a big chunk has been taken out of this wing. Oh. Woof indeed. Uh, Gump, you saw uh, this person be yoinked about. Is there anything you're going to do or are you going to continue staying on lookout? Did we lose two of them? Hello? Uh, did did hello. they call, did hello? They call drop? No, you're good. Sorry, I thought you were still talking to... I am to, so to, sorry. To no, no, no. I, I, I did direct it uh, at Goomp. Uh, apologies, I zoomed out. So I see the, the wings. Apologies. One second. Uh, Rylan just posted something <laughs> in chat. Am I backtracking? I'm so sorry. Do you need to dip? You absolutely can. Oh, my Whoops. And I hit a button by accident. Because of course I did. 
course you did. When you hit those numbers. Of course I did. Coin. It, I get a coin. Let's no, go. No, no, that's not. Uh, uh. <laughs> free coin. Free coin. No. <laughs> oh, banana. It wouldn't be banana. a goddess dream if his hotkeys didn't comedically happen to be um, in in the exact wrong spot for whatever else he plans on doing. Let's be real. It's it's part of, it's part of tradition at this point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, but yes, uh, Gump, uh, you've seen the princess be bodily thrown from one side, and the plane has righted yep. itself. Are you planning on doing anything, or are you just going to continue keeping watch for now? Um, if I saw her get tossed and everything's kind of balancing out, I think I'll unbuckle myself and waddle on down uh, to check on her. Uh, there's not too much I can do, but you know, sometimes, sometimes just moral support's all you need, you know? Uh, as you run down the aisle, you do pass by Rama, who is T-posing and Bethesda glitching, like, through the seat. Uh, and that is the canonical explanation for why Raglan's not here right now. We're never gonna reference it. Just, like, it's impolite to note, to, like, mention when someone's T-posing and glitching through the map. Just continue on. Well, it's, it's fine. They'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, being of a smaller stature, you're able to actually make your way all the way to the front in like quick time before the plane lurches again. And you do see the princess who is uh, pulling herself off from uh, the window. Uh, and the two of you are uh, close enough that you can probably get to the pilot's door before the next lurch happens. All right. Uh, is, she, is, she, is she back up on her feet? I don't know. Do you get back up on your feet? Uh, Tegan? Yeah. And uh, when I see that there's no uh, engine out the side, I swear for real. Oh. <laughs> a giant uh, a giant Mario mushroom is superimposed over your mouth, and you just hear rampant coin noises until you stop swearing. Yep. Uh, I'm going to turn to to this strange little mushroom man that's come up behind us and been like... I'm just there's, looking up at you. There is like, no engine on this plane. <laughs> I'm gonna like peek out the window or like kind of like stretch up a little bit as if I'm making myself like an inch taller to peek out the window. You see the exact same then, thing. There's like a dotted line, bl dotted blinking outline where that engine should be, but there is just a big chunk of the wing just taken out and smoking. Uh, there's now like neon arrows pointing to it. Like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna switch back down and be like, "Yeah, that's a problem." Do you know how to fix that? Do that thing where, like, you look at somebody and then you look at the camera, like you're <laughs> at the office. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just gonna be like, "We're talking to the pilot right now." I just kind of like nod very quickly like yep 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 <laughs> uh the door separating you and the pilots has a a big lever on it uh that kind of like like it's kind of like a bank vault kind of dealio like normally no one can just bar mm -hmm. barge in to interact with the pilot it's a safety measure um but you do know that the pilot can hear you if you uh contact them uh if you, if you talk to them through the door as the pilot did talk to short stack when she was up here earlier uh, I'm going to like bang on the door and um, demand to know what they did with the engine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you you bang on the door and you start yelling at them and you hear a toad's voice uh, cry back at you. Give me one second, gonna burp. <sighs> also, I'm just I'm just standing behind Princess Leclerc, like peeking around like her legs or whatever. Goom's there for watching. moral support, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> what have you done with the plane? Yells Jin in chat. Um, the uh, how dare you put me on a faulty plane? Obviously, uh, it's not my fault. Uh, the toad uh, yells back. What do you mean? What did I do with the engine? We had two, and we took off. Well, there certainly are not two now. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Uh, and the toad says, "We're gonna have to abandon ship." Uh, and he says. There should, there should be some parachutes in the back of the plane! If you can get them and bring them back up to me, we can all jump out into the ocean and not die a fiery death! Instead we can drive drowning? Of moisture? 
On a pastry? Madam! Please. Would you rather be wet or on fire? Moldy or baked? Frankly, Goop is already be running into the back. <laughs> so what was that, Mocha? Goomp is already running to the Goomp is already running to the back. Goomp is already running to the back. Like you you didn't need to tell him twice. He is gone. <laughs> Uh, the pilot continues to argue uh, with the princess in the front and Goomp. You run to the back. The ship lurches one more time uh, to one side, and then suddenly it nosedives. You hear from the you hear from the front of the toad going, Ah! Oh, did Discord not pick that up? <laughs> Discord absolutely no. did not pick that up. I saw my little P and GTuber go dark, and I'm like, oh, that was too high for Discord. That was the Discord. Imagine Toad <laughs> screaming, and that's the sound I was trying to make. Um, Are you saying? Did you not pack a backup engine? Did you not pack a backup <laughs> engine? That's the first thing you should do. Uh, but yes, the the, All right, but... the plane Sorry, nose dives. Uh, not f not fast fast enough that you notice it, but not fast enough that it's too steep for you not to run up. But it is getting steeper uh, as you as you uh, brace yourself to rush towards the back for those parachutes. You do see the T posing Rama slowly sliding down the aisle towards you. Amazing. What would you like to do? To jump on. I'm just gonna jump on over him. I have a mission. All right. Uh, I am going to need you to roll to see how easily you're able to clear this oncoming uh, Koopa. Okay. Uh, you, with your intention of hopping over him, would you think that was a tactical or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking a for? A steeler spirit. Steeler spirit. Yeah. Uh, probably steel. Probably steel. All right. Yeah. And one of your expertises is moving quickly, right? Um, let's double check here. You listed your expertise uh, to me. Sneaking out their targets. Sneaking out targets. A unique trait. Uh, can fall from high spaces without getting hurt, so. Oh, okay, okay. Probably not so. <laughs> Probably not so. All right. So that should only be 1d6 then? E. And you're trying to roll two it. or under. All right, bonk. Let's go! Hey! <laughs> and you do, in fact, get. Oh, that's the wrong button. I gave it to Raglan. No, oh, hold on. There nice. we go. <laughs> Give me the coin. There you go. Keep track of that, uh, as I am not going to be keeping track of who has what token. Uh, so you have one banana right. token. Uh, you uh, jump up onto Rama's head, and it is the Mario bloop. Uh, and you do <laughs> jump over. Unfortunately, by jumping on top of Rama, you do give him essentially like one point of Mario damage. So he does the Mario and shrinks down by one size before continuing to slide down. Amazing. Uh, but you have a clear path to go and get those. I am uh, determined. <laughs> you are determined. You don't even stop. Uh, you make Single minded. It you make it back into the concierge's area, and you do see there's like four sets. Of, there's four parachutes and a and a raft. Now I will point out that you don't have hands. Nope. How do you plan on getting these to the front? But I got strong teeth. <laughs> you got strong teeth. Um, I got strong teeth. Um, if, how big is the raft? Would I be able to push it down the walkway? The raft is big enough for you to sit on and slide. Can I, like, pile the parachutes just in the raft and then sit on top of the parachutes and oh. slide down? The raft is uninflated, so it's like a, it's like a, a square plastic box at the moment. Oh, I see. Okay. They're, they're, all, they're all, like, I'm in gonna... packages. Okay, I'm you gonna pile probably... it all together and then just kind of, like, push it down. I am here. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Uh, let me I am sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. The Things plane's happen. going down. Yeah, the plane's crashing. Sorry about that. And I'm I'm cussing at the toad in charge. <laughs> Rama, so, like, lurches back to life. Yeah, Rama <laughs> has been in, like, a T-pose. Uh, Bethesda glitching through <laughs> the map the entire time. Uh, Rama comes back to, you know, we don't really talk about the T-posing thing. It's an issue that everyone goes through. It's, it's rude to point it out. Um, he does notice that he's only half his size. So someone must have jumped on his head, which is also very rude. Uh, mm. But the plane is in a nosedive, uh, and he is sli slowly sliding down the aisle uh, as the incline gets worse. 
as he comes to, uh, you do hear something behind you, and Rama turns around to see what appears to be uh, five boxes stacked on top of each other with a Goomba on top <laughs> sliding down at terminal velocity towards him. Uh, what would Rama like to do? Uh, I'm, I'm vibing. Um, is my... Is my... Can I just call it a glider? Sure. It doesn't really glide, it hovers, but... I can't call it a hoverer. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm, is my glider in like my pocket dimension? Yeah, 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 you have it. You have it on you. I'm going to attempt to pull it out, hop on it like a skateboard, mm -hmm. and like zoom down the aisle to the controls. Absolutely. Yeah, no, with the, with the incline of the plane and the fact you have a straight shot down to where the, the front of the plane is, um, it's easy for both of you. It's the coolest thing either of you have ever done in your lives. Both of you slide down on your individual vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, do either of you have a way of stopping? No. <laughs> um, I could attempt to pull two hammers out at the same time. Okay. Like pry ends out and like hook them onto like the sides of the walls okay absolutely that sounds fantastic uh do you imagine that being a steel or a spirit roll that would be a steel roll okay uh tell me how many dice you think you're gonna roll for it you always get at least one do either your expertise is hammer hammer your other expertise is hammer <laughs> so you have at least two. Technically, this counts as flying, though, right? I would say so as well. This is an aerial maneuver, so you should be getting 3d6. Go Let's ahead and roll. go. And you said steal, right? Yeah. All right. That is two successes, which means you get exactly what you wanted. Uh, yeah. Rama pulls out the hammer, does that sick hooking into the sides of the walls move, and kind of like does a little spin around himself, giving just enough clearance for Goomp to slide on underneath without being damaged. Unfortunately, uh, Goomp does not have any method of stopping uh, and does <laughs> slam directly into the door. Um, I'm going to be smart, though, and, like, put my feet up because I got I got safety shoes. That is true. Uh, with your safety shoes, you managed to land on the door with a bang. Uh, but aside from, like, a shiver of the momentum going through your body, uh, you don't feel any pain from it. You're perfectly fine. At, with oh, the God. angle the plane is going, this is technically landing safely at this point. <laughs> Um, the toad inside hears the bang and uh, and screams and says, Get in here! Get in here! Get in here! And the door pops open with a hiss. Uh, and all three of you are able to tumble inside. Uh, you see that the inside of the cockpit, there is a single toad who is frantically trying to pull up on uh, the gear stick. Uh, but there is no use. The plane is in a proper free fall now. There is a single door uh, hatched to the left of him, uh, and he says, Don't worry about me! Save yourselves! Uh, you have four parachutes and an uninflated raft. What do you guys want to do? Hmm. I, how big, first of all, does the parachute even fit me? Can I wear it at all? That is true. You have no arms with which to go through the holes. <laughs> uh, I am also small. You are also very small. Well, it's the Mushroom Kingdom, so I think the parachutes are just conveniently properly sized. You know, it's a Mario wait. game. Wait, wait, wait. I have a very important question. Yes. I'm posting it in chat. What? <laughs> Hold on, I have to. <laughs> hold, hold on. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me fucking pull up. Yes. <laughs> Window capture. Uh, new one. Let me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Why are you yes. <laughs> yes. My knowledge of Mario lore is vast. <laughs> so that 
that's why the toad is saying to save ourselves. Yeah, no. The they toad, they come with parachutes. The toad pilot is probably fine, but you guys have to be clear of the um uh, clear of the, the plane first before he can dodge out, because he's like the only thing keeping it from properly. Yeah, he's like, I'll be fine. Just go, go, go. Uh, you said there was four parachutes. There are four parachutes. Yes. I'm going to grab the Goomba. Okay. And the princess. And just hop out. Oh. <laughs> With their permission, if they allow this. Yeah, go for it. I like the idea that you just grab Goop, though. Yes, I will be appropriate. I will be in game, appropriately startled. Out of game, this is great. Ten out of ten. So the fucking. <laughs> The fucking toad pilot, terrified for the lives of his passengers, but knowing that he'll survive, demands that they go and grab the safety gear. And the moment they've collected it, the Koopa just picks up the Goomba with like 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 a bowling ball, grabs the girl under his arm, and just kicks over the door and jumps out. And there's a moment of silence as the toad watches uh, the the hole in the side of the plane that you just disappeared from, and he goes. That's not what I meant! <laughs> <laughs> the three of you, uh, plus, I guess, the uh, the flying block, which uh, naturally follows after and dives down with you, um, are now in free fall. You've cleared the plane. It's disappearing behind you. Uh, and you see below you... Hello, button. Will you do the... That's not the right button at all. Oh, that's not the right button at all. Why is it showing... Why is it showing Toad's hat? <laughs> A different Hold, one, on. A different button. Hold on, is it this one? <laughs> yes, it's this one. Oh, thank fuck. Different button, different button. You, uh, as there you are- many buttons. It's, it's way too oh, many they're buttons. just four hats. It's just four toad mushroom hats. God. <laughs> so, um, you guys clear the plane, and the wind is whipping th past you too loud for you to properly scream at each other. Are you screaming at each other, out of curiosity? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm completely silent. The, the Goomba and the princess are, are wordlessly screaming at the moron who yoinked them from a plane. Uh, and you see the land below you. It is a giant tropical jungle. Uh, actually, you know what? I've actually been, been playing this sound this entire time. Let me just kind of... There we go. There we go. Uh, you see that the plane zooms by past you guys and crashes into the jungle below, uh, and you are all headed directly for that exact same location. What, uh, you, you guys have one more action before we cut to the title screen. What is your plan for landing on this island? Um, I know what my plan is. I'd like to hear everyone else's thoughts, but I would like to just simply put the safety shoes at the bottom of our pile of people. Oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna say Goomp honestly is probably fine if he can land on a, on a, like a flat surface. Oh my God. We are not going to be fine if all that weight is on it. <laughs> it is enough for a single Goomba. shoes and no Goomba. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wait. I'm like, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do my attack and bite your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> you try to do if you put me at the bottom, I am biting your ankle. Uh, now I'm just imagining like Goomp is like attached to my ankle, and the princess and I are now perpendicular such that the shoes are on the bottom, <laughs> and we're like up in the air, and Goomp is biting upwards. The three of you chaos monsters, um, you chaotic, chaotic bastards, you, I love this, um, <laughs> fly, fall through the air, uh, almost in like a proper line, Goomba, then Koopa, then Princess, with the flapping blocks uh, following down behind, slowly descending behind you. Uh, the camera watches from a bird's eye view as the three of you uh, fall, to the, fall towards the jungle uh, like a rock disappearing into the canopy of trees and then all is silent as we fade to black and the title screen comes in and says i actually probably should have had an image for this now that i'm thinking about it but farmer and friends rpg escape from kong country Ooh. Bwah, 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 bwah. Right. i uh 
I'm imagining the, the Paper Mario music. Thousand Year Door like new new chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chapter one begin. That was the prologue. Chapter one begin. Yeah. All right. Hello. Why did that not go away? Okay. There we go. Let me press some button to change the sound. When the three of you come to, uh, you find yourselves uh, inside a deep, dense jungle. Um, all of you have aches and pains from your harsh landing, which could have absolutely been harsher. Uh, you don't quite remember how you survived, but there's this, this is one big crater specifically around where Goomp wakes up. So it's, it's presumably the Goompa shoes that uh, saved your respective bacons. Uh, all three of you are waking up in this dense jungle, uh, foliage surrounding you. You can hear the wildlife chirping and cawing from the distance, um, and you are alone. Before any of you can uh, say anything or start to like ask what's happening, you do hear this loud crunching sound from the trees above you, and you look up and you see the plane. Uh, the plane has been perfectly captured within the heavy, dense vines of the jungle canopy and is just kind of dangling in the midair above you. It, it appears to be uh, stable, but it is being suspended off the ground by a series of large vines. What do you do? All right. I get out of the way of the plane. Wait, I'm going to... I have a picture for this, too. Okay. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> you know, okay, I, I have to show it because... Wow. Yes. Wow. That, oh, actually. That was legitimately... Hold on. Hold on. Uh, no, I gotta do a window capture. There we go. Yeah, 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 from, uh, from Donkey Kong, uh, Country Returns. You keep having me show off my, uh, my, my, my bookmarks here, and, like, Raggles, buddy. Raggles, my dude. Like the AO3 tab saved? Shh! Quiet! Quiet! Quiet. Damn, Bogey, you didn't have to shout that. You, di you didn't have to bl put me on blast like that. Didn't have to yeah, scream we that so badly. It's, it's a Super Sentai polyamory fic that, like, inspired mm -hmm. younger me to, like, exp like ex figure out what his, like, sexuality and, like, romantic leanings were. You're so valid. So, like, I keep it there in the event that I ever want to go back and, like, remember that time. Young, impressionable me learning about himself. <laughs> Anyway, you're so valid. That's adorable. Shut up, yeah. bastards! All okay, of you. Okay, fine. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> better. That's better. I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you're thank, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, the three the three of you are in this clearing with a, an airplane suspended over you and dense jungle surrounding you. What would you like to do? I would like to look around. Okay. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, first, the Goomba. Well, you see the Goomba. Yeah. Goomba is there in a crater, seemingly unharmed. Good enough for me. I'm just laying there. You're <laughs> you're laying there like um, uh, the Yamcha defeated pose. <laughs> the dragon, no arms. With no arms. With no arms. <laughs> with no arms. <laughs> <laughs> just super long legs. Just super. Super. Yes. I need that fan art yesterday. <laughs> oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. You, uh, Goomp, you, you do feel a little bit sore, but you are mostly unharmed. You're just going to continue laying there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of contemplating life. All you wanted was to go to a dentist convention. Was that so bad? You asked for so little. You saved up all that PTO for this trip. I did. You're going to miss it now. Yeah. And as soon as you get back, you're going to be over your PTO hours. I know. <laughs> a single tear runs down Goop's face. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Eclair, uh, what is your game plan right now? 
uh, absolutely get up and uh, brush myself off, of course, naturally. I'm, like fluff my hair, make sure everything's like physically okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna turn around to uh, Rama and be like, excuse me, what part of that idea was good? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Rama's gonna grunt. Oh no! Does Rama not speak? Uh, Rama knows perfect MKSL, but doesn't choose to uh, say it or use it right now. Okay. Actually, I guess it'd be perfect KKSL. So, Koopa Clan sign language. Uh, Koopa Kingdom Sign Kingdom Language. Koopa Kingdom Sign ah. Language. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. You didn't put that on your character sheet. That's fascinating. <laughs> you didn't. It, it kind of just came to me today. I was like, you know. In the moment. Hammer Brothers just go like, yo, yo, half the time. Right. And like, I feel like I just exude not being able to speak language or not being able to speak energy. Okay. Fair do. Fair do. Excellent. All right. That's mm, perfect, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is the absolutely worst diplomatic trip I've ever been on. <laughs> and some of those trips started wars. Yes, yeah, so, some, tri- some of those trips start wars. This is about to be one of them at this rate. <laughs> um I guess I'm gonna pick up the Goomba and just start walking. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna follow up. I have to know. Does does uh, Go- hmm? I palm you like a basketball. Oh, okay. Does Goomb fight against this at all or at this point, I don't know what he expects. He doesn't know what to expect. He's just kind of on for the ride. He's like, this is my life now. I'm <laughs> never getting out of here. Senpai is carrying me. <laughs> that too. In character, Goomp is my short stack. Out of character, Mocha, please let me know if I'm crossing any lines. You're valid. You're good. <laughs> I like this dynamic where um, even though Goomp is very much like his own character, uh, Rama is very much like you are my you are, you are my inferior. I'm the one giving you orders around here. I love it. Um, is there a particular direction uh, that Rama starts walking, or just a direction and goes? Uh, I'm going to go in the direction that I'm facing. Okay, so whatever direction you were facing whenever you got up <laughs> is the direction you're going. Fantastic. Um... As uh, you, uh, you you guys uh, start to leave uh, the clearing, uh, one thing may jot through your heads uh, as you leave the area. Even though the three of you are uh, all safe and sound, uh, there's no sign of the pilot toad that was uh, driving the plane uh, behind you. Uh, the toad was not with you guys uh, in your crash landing area. Rest in peace, pilot all right. toad. So. Uh, here's how this is going to work. I do not have an established map, but in between, like, main areas, I'm going to randomly generate what you guys encounter on your trip. Uh, and you can choose to interact with it if you like to, or you can avoid it entirely, unless it doesn't allow itself to be avoided, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, so let me go ahead and press that button, and we oh. shall see what happens. All right. So, the three of you start traveling through uh, the the heavy jungle. Uh, the sun sh- that shone down into your uh, clearing area starts to get dimmer and darker the further you walk. The clouds are covering up the sun, and the temperature, while still hot and humid, is definitely starting to cool off some. Uh, your visibility isn't bad yet, but you imagine that there will be fog coming in sometime soon. Do you guys, like, have a conversation while you're walking? What's your plan for getting through this jungle? Hmm, good question. Pilot Toad Um, lost at sea salutes. (laughs) 07. 07. Da-da-da. 
Da da da. Plays taps quietly for him. Toad taps. Toad taps. Toad I could taps probably do it in the toad that. voice. Da da da. Please. Oh god. Da, da, da. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Let's see. Eclair, I'm going to defer to Eclair because I've been making some decisions lately. Uh, well, you're leading, so I think I'm just going to follow behind. Um, but I am going to be like, do you have a light at least? It's going to get dark soon at this rate. Um, My like, I'm arms are crossed. I'm definitely like upset, but at this point, like, I don't know what to. I don't have like a thing to do. If that makes sense, I'm a princess. This isn't what pri princesses don't traipse through jungles. Ridiculous. Um, in response to, do you have a light? I'm just gonna, like, turn around with my free hand and pull out, like, 50 hammers and just sort of toss them in a, in a direction to signal that, no, I do not have a light. But I do have a lot of hammers. <laughs> so many hammers. <laughs> are those hammers made one. out of Stop something that we could... Right, and it's honestly, like, are those hammers made out of something that we could use to, like, light a fire or something so we can carry a torch? Or are they just Ooh. hammers? Ooh, I'm gonna- oh god, I have a question. Yes. Can I, like, pull out three hammers? Yeah. And, like, knock two of the heads together and light the handle of a third hammer on fire? I would need you to roll for that, but that's absolutely a possibility. <laughs> it sounds so silly. It sounds very uh, silly. It so does sound very silly, but you will get an extra dice if you do it. <laughs> because it's hammer. It, because it's hammers, yeah. And because you're following my instructions. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. god, you're right. So that's oh what, 3d6? Yep. <laughs> Alright, is this steel or spirit? Oh, that's a good question. When hammer and a steel. <laughs> Wait, here, 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 let me, let me roll again. We need to decide. Um, yeah. Is this uh, logical or emotional? I don't think it's logical. It's not just Mario <laughs> nonsense. Yeah. That and I was going to say, like, I feel like I'm doing this almost out of spite. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Just a tiny bit. Sure. Like, I'm listening, also, I'm listening to this princess, but I don't feel happy about it. I'm just, just quick pause. I was inspired. Can you check uh, uh, General Khan? <laughs> what did you post? Amazing. I can't, I can't, I can't show this. <laughs> um, I got to actually pull Discord back up. It's not so <laughs> what did you what did you post? I gave you another fucking coin up by accident because of course I did. Amazing. Where is Honestly it deserved. <laughs> yeah, honestly, with with that level of artistic integrity, absolutely deserved. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Let me <laughs> This is gonna be very funny for people who know what the Yamcha pose is, but it's kind oh. of funny for people who don't. I can't really show more than that because of how the cropping works. <laughs> Lower the balloons, Gata. If I do, it'll automatically send the whole thing away. Is the problem? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's on the same Rip. thing. I'll post it on. I will post it on Twitter there you afterwards. Go. I, okay, I'll, I'll, I can post it. I'm gonna probably add more detail to it later. But okay. Yeah. Sure. Amazing. Poor goom. <laughs> Poor goom. <laughs> Poor goom. <laughs> so we're rolling spirit 3d6. You got to get three or more for it to be a success. Yeah, boy. Damn, that would have been great on my last roll. That yeah, would have been, been great on my last roll. Oh. Much worse on this roll. <laughs> <sighs> so that's zero, zero successes. Um, so uh, trying my best. Rama like pantomimes the actions of lighting, of, like using two sticks to light, but mostly the metal on the hammers make this awful screeching sound as they rub against each other, and oh. no sparks happen. Damn. So to answer, I turn around and keep walking. To answer Eclair's question, that's a no. Apparently not. Great. Never do that again. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> Uh, you continue walking through the jungle, clearing your path, uh, and as you turn a particular corner around a tree, um, you notice something very strange. Uh, you didn't, when you were in free fall, none of you noticed any sort of, like, massive structures on the side of the island that you fell into. It was mostly just jungle, uh, and beach, uh, but despite this being a presumably abandoned <coughs> island, you do actually come across what appears to be 
a perfectly pristine uh, wooden barrel. It has like the metal rings around it. It's got like the top. Uh, it's it's proper sanded down wood to make the shape of it. It looks like a manufactured ass Western style barrel, and it's just kind of chilling there, just sitting there all by itself. Is there anything in it? Can I go see if there's anything in it? You're currently being held basketball style uh, by the Koopa, so I mean, ask can, them. Can I wiggle free? Can uh, I wiggle if you, free? If you're wriggling, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss you up on top of the barrel. Just gently. A gentle toss. Alright. Uh, I'm like a cat. I land on my feet. Goomp flies through the air and lands on top of the barrel with a little tunk. Um, and the sound of the, the barrel as it reverberates from you landing on top of it, it does feel like there must be something inside. It's not hollow in there. I'm gonna try to open it. Okay. Uh, he has his teeth. He uses his teeth? To he uses his teeth. They're sharp. They're sharp. Uh, how how do you plan on how do you okay I want I want to I want you to explain this to me paint me a word picture in what manner well, does he like okay let me make sure I know what a barrel looks like one second I need so, to look at the the components if no, you no, look no. on stream there's one to the left there is one to the is left there? on stream yeah there is uh, it, okay kind of like metal bands <clears throat> keep the planks together but the top and bottom are wooden yeah. Like, there's, like, a lid sort of thing. I, I just kind of want to try and pry that out, I guess. Like a bottle cap opener? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, well, I'm biting it. This uh, is why he wants to be a dentist, because, like, a lot of Goombas, they don't have arms. They have to use their mouths for a lot of things. So he's really passionate about dental hygiene so he can have strong teeth. Amazing. Yeah, Goomp bites <laughs> down and, like, leans forward and similar to, like, a glass can of soda, the lid of the barrel just pops off. Uh, and, unfortunately, the motion of uh, moving the body to make that leverage happen does send both Goomp Flip and off. the barrel. Hmm? Oh, okay. <laughs> if the barrel's going too, then I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, no, the, the barrel's going as well. Uh, both Goomp and the barrel fall over. And what comes out of the barrel is a ridiculous amount of... Of yellow feathers uh the the feathers burst out in like a cloud and settle down around goomp uh who is now lying uh on his back on the ground staring up at the sky yep and you are once again contemplating life once again contemplating right you're surrounded by a bunch of yellow ass feathers what um i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna sneeze it's gonna That's land nice. on my nose and i'm gonna sneeze my non-existent nose. Princess Eclair opens her mouth to say something, and then Goomp sneezes, and a burst of feathers goes smacking into her face. Sun type. <laughs> um. Mm. Are these like fancy feathers or just like regular like bird feathers? They're native, like assumed native species feathers. They're bird feathers. They're pretty big. Uh, and they're a very pretty yellow, but you can't determine dis discern anything particularly like fancy about them. I'm gonna put one in my hair and see how it looks. Uh, you pick up one of the golden feathers and you put it into your hair, and it, it doesn't look great considering that's the, the actual color of your uh, your locks themselves. The purple, or the pink, mm -hmm. and the the yellow kind of clash a little bit. Um, but, you know, you're, you're, you think you could probably make something work. Maybe tie it in with a little gold trim and maybe it'll have a little feel more at home in your, your uniform. Maybe, like, put it uh, whenever I find my sun hat, stick it in the sun hat instead so there's that, like, color breakup sort of thing. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Why would you put feathers in a barrel? I like Are look you... in the bottom of the barrel to see if there's anything else in there. Uh, there is nothing but feathers in the barrel. Hmm. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? Yes, yeah. very strange. I wonder what I could we possibly should probably... be hinting at. Yeah, we should probably put them back. Uh, the feathers aren't hammers or hammer adjacent, so they're immaterial to Rama. Oh no. Rama. Rama. I'm going to take one feather, and I'm going to put the rest of them back in the barrel. Okay. You do. Uh, and the wood lid goes back onto the barrel uh, ever so neatly. 
and you put it back where you found it, and you are one feather richer. This is weird. You Why solved... would you put feather? I'm like, <laughs> like look yeah. at um, Goom, but I'm like, Why would you put feathers in a barrel? <laughs> For safekeeping. Safekeeping from what? They're feathers. They could mean something to someone. You don't know that. I just kind of give her a look. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. like check your privilege, princess. The true <laughs> <laughs> regal hair toss. <laughs> well, you've solved my my, yes, my feathers. Keep feathers out of the feathers, but keep them in. Oh no. no! What if they're evil feathers and you've unlocked the evil ancient feathers. evil? Fancy. Uh. As you guys continue on through the jungle, you do actually reach the forest edge, and you step out into the bright sunshine of a beach. Beach? I do need to This add. isn't a beach, this is a bathtub! That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? I, I, I... Okay, sure. You did. I love that quote, I'm sorry. <sighs> Bless you. Bless your heart. You guys step out uh, into into the the sunny shores of uh, this island. Uh, you actually see that, that out into the ocean uh, there is a, what appears to be a bunch of pirate ships just chilling out there. Uh, too far out for any of you to like reach in any reasonable amount of time, but there are a bunch of them docked out out in the waves uh, next to a big old lighthouse, uh, which is sitting on a rock. Uh, the water of the beach is fairly rocky. There's boulders all through it. No ship could probably port here very easily, um, which is why they're all further out there. Uh, but on this beach itself, uh, as you're looking about, you do see at one end, uh, to your eyes' right, uh, quite a ways away, you see what appears to be another uh, airplane crash. Uh, but this one has uh, multiple colors decorating it. You can't see from this distance what it is, but it appears that uh, something has been interacting with that sh that wreck down there. I uh, want to go look at the plane. Welcome back, Ryan. I lose resources on the plane. I would like to go to the lighthouse, so we should probably do the plane first. Is it like the plane and then like the plane's on like one end of the beach and that part of the beach is what like goes around towards the lighthouse or are we would we be going opposite directions? You don't actually see an easy uh, land path to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is mm -hmm. out in the water on a rocky outcrop. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had you grabbed the raft, that may have been an option, but alas, alas. The raft. <laughs> yeah, and my, my platform does not go over water as per... Mario, Mario world, rules like logic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Neato. I, I just kind of like out of out of character. I really do appreciate how all three of you have like imposed your own self restrictions on your characters, so I don't have to be yeah. like bring the hammer down and be like, no, that's too powerful. You're unbalancing the, hammer, the party. You oh. Hammer. 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 Uh. So you guys wanted to go head down towards the uh, the, the airplane crash then, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. As you guys walk down the beach, uh, you are buffeted by a blast of salty air. Uh, it is most definitely a beach. Uh, a, a, a red small crab pops his head out of the sand and then sees you approach and immediately dives back under the dirt to uh, avoid you as you walk by. I'm, I'm, I'm running after him. Uh, you run up to where- Sir! Sir! We need help! Sir! <laughs> there is a small indent in the ground where the crab tunneled into, but nothing- no response comes. You know that- that, uh, gif of, uh, Patrick from Spongebob running with his pants down and he just falls- <laughs> falls flat- face flat into the ground? In the movie. Yes. Yeah, that's just- that's Goomp into where the- <laughs> Oh, fudge. Your, your, Goomp stares into the, the crevice where the crab person was, but no, no assistance is coming. I'm going to walk up to Goomp, pick them up, and then slam my other arm 
down to the hole. Uh, okay. You slam <laughs> your arm down into the hole, and you man you I'm make screaming. contact uh, with uh, something hard down there. Been hard, you say? No. <laughs> Mocha, please. This is a family-friendly stream. This is a Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> uh, I'm going to firmly grasp it. God fucking damn it. Okay, Wait, yeah. Wait, that's a SpongeBob. The oh, lid. I see. So now the I'm the lid. asshole. Got it, got it. Got yeah, it. that was literally just like, a f now firmly grasp it. You firmly grasp it, and you hear a, uh-oh, coming from underneath the sand. I rip my arm back out. In a spray of sand and other uh, sand and shell, uh, the crab is re forcibly removed from his hole and is now dangling, uh, very concerned, in your grip. Did sand go in my face? Yes. I just like splitter, like. <laughs> I hold out my the the two beings in my hands so that they're face to face. Sir! The crab looks very confused and afraid. <laughs> I am also mildly afraid. Uh, the crab just stares at you with wide eyes. Sir, we need some help! Uh, the crab uh, looks at Goomp and then looks over at Rama and like the pupils kind of dilate at how big Rama is, and then looks back at Goop and goes, <laughs> "Okay." And it kind of shrugs with its little crabby claws. We 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 crashed. The our plane lost an engine, and we crashed on this island. We don't know where we are. Uh, and uh, the crab is like not paying attention to Goop at all, but like looking around trying to figure out how to get away. <laughs> Mr. Crab, would you please uh, answer the little Goomba's questions? Uh, the, the crab uh, looks around and then looks back at Goomp and points down to the sand and in a high squeaky voice says, Beach! And then shrugs again. <sighs> Does the beach have a name? The crab thinks for a second and says, Beach! Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> the crab looks at Rama, Rama and then gestures back towards his hole, like, can you put me down now? Um, <laughs> if I were, if this were like some different RPG system that had an insight skill, uh -huh. if I were to use that, what sort of vibe would I get from this crab? <laughs> what sort of vibe? Okay. Uh, you get the vibe that this crab is very afraid of you, and it does not want to be in your arms anymore. It doesn't- you don't, you don't get like a malicious, this crab is keeping information from us. It, it's just a crab. It's just a crab, you guys. Five check the crab. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna throw the crab as far as I can into the ocean. <laughs> and all, I also start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I just look at him wriggly, like oh, no! I just like look at him like oh we could have baked it though. Hmm. Goop is horrified. <laughs> what do you eat? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at Goomp and then look at the ocean and then look at Goomp and look at the ocean and then put Goomp down. <laughs> Goomp is just thinking to himself like the response of the uh uh, the whole what do you eat is, is is more so that that is a sentient creature. <laughs> like, like... It's not- it's, it's like a human. It's not like a regu- like a regular animal sort of thing, if you get what I mean. While, said um, beach. That could be the only thing it knew how to say. Doesn't mean it's sentient. It's an uh oh though! <laughs> While the princess and Goomp presumably uh, start checking out the the plane more later. I'm gonna just start looking for crabs to throw. There are a number of those indents uh, across the beach as you go. You just want to repeatedly like shove your hand down, find a crab, and then chug it into the ocean. Yep. 
Okay. Hurt you. Increase your, your tossing skills. Yep. To extend to crabs. Who hurt you? A crab, a I crab. assume. <laughs> Uh, can I tell what country the other plane came from? Oh, that's a very valid point, actually. Um, I'm gonna say... Well, okay, L let me, l l let me, let me ask you. Um, do you, Tegan, know the name of the place that Pauline is the mayor of? I'm testing you on your deep Mario lore. Isn't it, I know it's like a it's like it's not Metro City I know that you 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 that's close enough for me I'm in the right like vibe yeah it it is called the Metro Kingdom it's New Donk that's what it is she's from New Donk City there you go so you there recognize go. uh the scratched off and faded insignias on what's left of this plane only like the front half and like one side of the wing of a wing is available, like, is left from this thing, but you notice from the scratched off and, like, sun-tanned, or uh, sun-bleached, rather, uh, insignia left on it that it is, in fact, from, uh, the Metro Kingdom, uh, which you know as being, like, if, if, uh, if the Mushroom Kingdom were Australia, the Metro Kingdom is like the United States. It's very far from where it's supposed to be. Oh dear. Hmm. And very far from where we, where you were when you got on that plane. That is not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but as you near, you do notice that uh actually uh the, the wing the plane is angled at a way that the wing is actually pointing like up into the air and it's created sort of like a natural shade. There's like some logs of wood that's like holding the wing up, so there's like a natural overhang. Um and in that overhang, there appears to be a series of barrels and wooden crates, and it's just covered with the most random shit you've ever seen. Uh, you see there's a bunch of like balloons that are blown up and tied up in the back. There's various fruits dangling from the ceiling. Uh, you see like a hula doll. You see like a broken radio. You see like surfboards. And standing on a bird perch is a bright red uh, cockatoo looking bird wearing a pair of sunglasses. Uh, and as you guys approach, uh, the bird uh, turns around, notices you, and puts its wing feathers out in sort of like a hang loose kind of vibe, like the, you know, the, the, the pinky and the thumb out. And he says, yeah. Sup, bros? How's it hanging? Oh, excellent. Welcome to Funky Shop. My name is Tox, and I will be your assistant today. What can what can I get you, radical dudes? Huh? I drop the crab that I'm holding, it and I just away. contemplate. Mm. Hey, hey! I don't like the look in your eye, there, man. You're looking at me a little too, uh, you know, a little too closely there. I take a step away from Rama. Where is so I understand your shop is located on this beach. Where is this beach located in relation to everything else? Uh, the, the 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 bird cocks his head at you and says, uh, wh what 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 do you mean, ma'am? Uh, like in, re in relation to the jungle? I mean, we're about a two days uh, walk if we're. So if I were going to write you, uh, if I was going to say order something from your shop uh, abroad, what's the address you would give me? Uh, and he like like mutters to himself, goes abroad. I mean, are, are, are you guys from the mainland? I mean, we don't really ship anything out that way. It's more of a local thing gig. You, you get me? I can understand that, but like, humor me here. Uh, oh, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, that, that, that was for me to answer you uh, a little yeah, further. That was for you to answer me. Yeah. Oh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. I feel like we're talking like around each other. And uh, probably. I, I'm not quite positive what information you're looking for. And you're like asking what you think is the most clear question. Uh, let me. So. Mm. Let, well, me, let me be as clear as humanly possible then. Okay. Well, species. I'm so funny. Um, Where are we? <laughs> Well, you're 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 on, you're on the Sunny Shore Beach, uh, Jungle Japes, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Donkey Kong Island, 
And uh, you actually would know, uh, Princess mm-hmm. Claire, what Donkey Kong Island is. And honestly, probably, at least Rama would be aware that Donkey Kong Island is where that Donkey Kong person comes from that occasionally hangs out with that Mario person. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't know anything further about like where Donkey Kong Island is located, but the name of Donkey Kong himself does ring familiar for the pair of you. Uh, and talks, uh, the bird continues talking and uh, says, I mean, y- 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 you, had to, you had to have known Donkey Kong Island. I mean, how else did you guys get here, right? The, like, the ha- same way that Ash plane did crashed. He turns around, looks at the plane, and he looks back, and he's a feathered bird, but if feathers could, like, pale like skin does, it would. He's like, oh, no, you guys got, like, plane wrecked, which is like being shipwrecked, but with a plane. Man. Yeah. Oh, golly, geez. All right. Uh, okay. That changes everything, then. I'm, I am so sorry. He hops down from his perch and walks over and says, let me reintroduce myself. I'm Tox. And, uh, you guys are... I sign my name. I hesitate. <laughs> I extend my hand, and I go, Princess Eclara of the Waffle Kingdom? Uh, Tox goes, Oh, a princess! And, like, uh, folds back his, like, head feathers, uh, like, slicking sl- 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 them back like it's hair, and he holds out a wing for, like, a very dainty shade. He says, Pleasure to meet you, ma'am! Uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> well, uh, if, if you... you... Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, just, like, a uh, uh, goop. And I just kind of nod. Nice to meet you, goop! And then he sees Rama sign, and he says, uh, he signs back in perfect sign language because fuck it, we don't need to like put anyone with a disability at a at a, at a loss in this game. It's our fantasy; oh, we can yeah. do it. Uh, he signs back while talking. He says, "Nice to meet you, Rama. I can't really do this while flying, unfortunately. So hopefully, can you can you, can, can you hear me? Are you deaf?" Uh, I sign no. Uh, okay, alrighty then. Uh, and he uh, hopped back on his perch and says, uh, "Well, unfortunately." We don't get a lot of people from the mainland coming out this way unless they've chartered their own boat. Uh, we've got issues with uh, some of the locals not liking strangers. Uh, do you guys, like, is your plane still somewhat intact somewhere? Do you, is it, or is it, like, completely busted? I just kind of give this e look, like, uh, mm, Yeah, same, same kind of look, but, like, more regal. I'm going to do mm. that thing where you, like, get your hand and you, like, pretend it's a plane and then it's... Uh, he winces and goes, Ugh, that's not righteous at all. Ugh. And he thinks about it and says, Well, here on Donkey Kong Island, we uh we have kind of a, a barter system going. We don't really have like an established currency. Uh, we trade whatever is uh, worthwhile to us. Uh, my, my main man, Funky, he's really great with machines. He's radical at it. He could probably get you guys a boat or something to at least get you back to the mainland so you can, you know, figure out how to get where you're going. Uh, but he's not going to be back for a couple of days. He went off on a bit of a trip around the island. Out of character where... question. Oh, yeah, go fun? ahead. Sure. No, you go ahead. Uh, this is for uh, Mocha and Tegan. Um, how do you feel about me... Ignoring everything the parrot is saying, the cocktail, sorry, and uh, opening the crates. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I guess. I'm fine with that. Uh, do you uh, want to do going... it? Sorry, uh, uh, let me ask. Uh, no, go ahead. Raglan, a question real quick, and then we can do your thing. <laughs> um, do you want Rama to be doing it sneakily or just blatantly looking through the, the stuff? Sort of just blatantly. Okay. <laughs> well, just like. <laughs> yeah. All right. No respect for anyone's personal space. Like Rama is just big and doesn't have time for this. <laughs> uh, Tox is still focused on talking to the princess, so Rama just kind of walks by him and he barely notices a thing. Uh, T, what were you gonna say? Uh, I'm gonna say, couldn't you? Uh, is is what it, is it like? The the Mister Kong is he around? The one that hangs out with Mario is he around? Uh, um. Because I think he would better be able to assist us. Uh, Talk says, "Oh, you mean Donk? Oh, wait a minute! You know Mario?" 
Yeah. I just kind of like shudder. I'm like, M Mario is here? <laughs> Mario's not here. I like, like both scared a little, like, and starstruck. <laughs> Wow, what a small world! <laughs> That's totally bodacious! Uh, no, uh, Donkey's on that trip with Funky. He and Funky like to go up to where the, uh, the Kremlings had their factories to come back with their metal bits, uh, for Funky's tinkering. Mm. They usually take about five days or so to get there and back, unless they take a little side trip, but... Conveniently, kind of like neither of the main NPCs you're looking for are available! Isn't this great? <laughs> that is great. I, I just kind of like whisper to myself, being like, Mario's chopped on the heads of my of my co-workers before. Oh my god. <laughs> like both starstruck and just afraid. Do you is it do you want to be jumped on? Is that like a thing? I lo I look down. I look back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just seem... deep character well, introspective. We'll unpack that later. <laughs> I am uncomfortable with the energy in the recording uh, booth tonight. Can bring something among himself. <laughs> Guys, well, all right. I swear to uh, God. What, what's in the uh, what's in the crate, Scotta? Yeah. So as you're talking, uh, Ramba just kind of shoulders his way into the back and starts pulling open the crates. Um, uh, how soon do I want to drop this? So, uh, you open up the crates, uh, and you look inside, and there's a bunch of, like, hay in there, a bunch of, like, dried up, uh, jungle leaves, uh, and you start mm -hmm. digging, you start pawing your way through, and, uh, Tox hasn't, like, noticed you yet, but as Tox turns around and realizes that, uh, he goes, Oh, hey, hey, man, don't, don't get into that one, that's, you pull out a gun. <laughs> Just a whole gun? Like, so just, a, like I'm clipping just, just a whole ass gun. It looks old and a little rusted. Like, it's not, like, operational. Uh, but it's it's a full-on, like, it's like a shotgun. Just there. No, it's not coconut-based. It just is a gun. It's a whole gun. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty. Just a gun. God is terrified. Guns have, mm, guns have hammers. They do. In <laughs> them, they have technically. I was actually gonna bring that up. I'm glad you did. Um. Oh dear. Too Canadian for this. Damn! I almost, for the bit, want to be like, "This is not a hammer throwback," but it does technically have a. It's hammer adjacent. I, it's hammer adjacent. They're I'll, also kind of shaped like hammers. I'll, I'll you know? allow it. I'll fucking allow it. I'll allow it. I did establish it's not operational, so I don't know what you're planning on using this for. But you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. A uh, hammer, obviously. Uh, it's gonna go into my hammer space, and then I'm gonna keep digging. Uh, Tox is like, uh, hey man, uh, y y you planning on paying for that? I mean, you don't really Why have much- Why do you have a gun? Well, Why, we... What on earth could you want to trade a gun for? And why I mean, that doesn't work at that? There's a, there's a, there's a reason it wasn't in the front of the shop, okay? Listen, listen, listen. There's a lot of random stuff that's kind of littering the island. If we think it might be of value to someone, we bring it back. We're, we're, we're scavengers, you know? We take the trash that nobody else wants, and sometimes somebody does want it. I see. Um, but you trade for everything, so you trade trash for trash? Well, I mean, it's one, one monkey's trash is another person's banana. I mean, that sure is one way to phrase it. Yeah, I'm gonna like slowly look back at talks. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cocktail effect that one. And then I'm gonna go back to digging. It's a local phrase! Come on! I guess when in... Uh... Jungle Japes. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah. Do, do, as, do? The, do as the apes do. I guess, yeah. When, when in Jungle Japes, Jape as the jungle does! Ha <laughs> ha! Just like the hang loose with awesome. both wings. Oh, I, I really want to throw jump. a hammer at him now. <laughs> Um, what if you didn't do that anymore? Um, what's, uh, so what, what all is around here if this is the beach, uh, in the jungle japes? 
What, what, do you have like a map or something that we could? Well, you probably don't do paper and pen, do you? Not really, no. Not unless we can scavenge it from crashes. Speaking of which, uh, are you gonna use that crash plane and whereabouts was it? Um, we can trade you that information. Ooh. Oh, now you're getting it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, and uh, he hops down and starts scritching out uh, like directions in the sand. And he says, "Okay, so this here is Sunset Shore. We got the lighthouse. We have the shipwrecks. We got my shop. If you head towards the west, and he like gives a little arrow pointing in a direction, it says you'll hit the river. Uh, if you head north, uh, you'll hit well." You probably shouldn't go north, <laughs> but uh, we'll, that, that's, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Where, um, I had to turn to I'm, him I'm and like, about what it. happens if, what, what happens if you head north? Well, you know, there's, well, that's, that's what, that's what the pirates have kind of made their little shanty town. I mean, they probably wouldn't be too Ooh. mean to you at first, but. <laughs> Interesting. If, I'm uh, glad if, we're all on the same team when we just heard the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Talk says, but if you were to head north, northwest, uh, and he puts a little arrow, says, back to the forest, uh, you'd find yourselves uh, uh, with where, where the Kongs live. Uh, Donkey Kong has a treehouse over there. Funky's got a little shack. If they don't head here first, they'll probably head there first. So if you wanted to bump into Donkey Kong, that's probably your best bet. Well, I mean, the the pirates could probably... I could be ransomed at that point. Like, that might be faster. <laughs> what if we found some string and just tied talks to us? There is absolutely, like, rope and shit just coiled up around, if that's what you intend to do. <laughs> I'm gonna pull short stack out of my little uh, pastry space. Uh, um... She pops out, still actively screaming. Going, ah! She realizes <laughs> you're no like, longer. No, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's fine. You're no longer in a crashing plane. She goes. I also start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We don't. We don't need to scream. We don't need to scream. <laughs> Got an excitable little party there, don't you? <laughs> and she stack my darling. My, my little tiny butter bean. Um, can you copy this map down for me? Uh, short stack uh, looks around like wide-eyed like trying to take it all in she goes of course princess just just give me a second to like process this is that okay just just, just a moment certainly okay she's a deep One. breath in and like breathes out heavily <laughs> through her like her nose like <sighs> okay that's enough processing and she hops down uh and she uh she looks at the map she goes hmm and she reaches a hand back around to like the butter patty on her head and starts like moving the butter patty around. And then after a second, she says, okay, I've memorized the map. Thank you. I'm going to tuck you away now before um, some crabs scavenge you or something. These crabs? Oh dear. I put her back in my pocket. <laughs> she goes back willingly. Talks a lot. Now we have a map. Excellent. <laughs> now, uh, you, now you have a map. In in the dirt, I like um, I take my the tip of my little sword and I draw an arrow back the direction we came. I go, if you walk that way, for like half a day, there'll be a big plane suspended over a giant crater, uh, in the vines. And he goes, ooh, alrighty then. Hey, thanks so much for doing business with me. If, yeah, there uh, may or may not be a toad in there. A what? <laughs> Uh, a toad, like a like a frog. No, nope. like um, like my pancake person, but a mushroom. <gasps> oh, like, uh, oh, mushroom oh. kingdom toad. Is he alive? I don't know. <laughs> That's for you to discover on your own. That little treat for you. Uh, talks thinks about it for a second. And is like, I mean, I don't think it's technically cannibalism, and I've always kind of wondered. Well. Ugh. I take a step away. <laughs> he uh, he says, "Pleasure doing business with you." And I, uh, if if Funky comes by and he hasn't ca caught you yet, I'll let him know that you're on the island. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country. And then he he takes da, 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 off. Da, da, da. 
Well, no, he just kind of stands there awkwardly. Because Ram was still going through his chest in the back. He turns around and says, can you, like, not steal from me? Like, you can have the gun, it's fine, but, like, dude, <laughs> not cool. Is it really stealing <laughs> if we told you where an entire me. other plane is? I mean, I, I guess, I guess, yeah. We just traded as much as we can, right? You get a whole nother new plane that no one's seen yet, except us. And, and you have get this, a gun. Burnt, this burnt out dead plane. Uh, Tox it's is like pilot toad for parts. You're right. You're right, oh Luigi's apartment. Yikes. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Yikes. This case is getting dark. <laughs> yeah. I I specifically, you know what? I'm probably going to have to lean into it because, like, I mentioned, like, in the documents we were planning this, like, let's keep the tone light. And then I'm the idiot who's, like, implies <laughs> toad cannibalism. So, yeah, honestly, honestly. Um, it's a gun for Schrodinger's loot box plane. <laughs> I wonder if it includes any Fortnite in Mario. Skins. Hmm? Maybe. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's any cannibalism in Mario. Canonically. I mean, lots of things get eaten by piranha plants, so... Yoshis also eat lots of things. That is true. But that's not cannibalism. That's it's like It depends if they eat their, their own species, right? And there's also mm. the fact that, like, hmm. When you play as Toad and you eat a power shroom. Ah. Ooh. I don't like the implications of that, so we're going to move on. <laughs> the power shrooms do have eyes, so. Yep. yep. They do. Anyway. Maybe. Uh, I'm going to no. shut up. <laughs> we don't have time to unpack all We don't have time to unpack all that. <laughs> But yeah, this is the part of the game where I've officially established, like, what's in the immediate area. What do you guys want to do? Uh, we still have the lighthouse to check out. Want well, to check out the lighthouse and then head towards the pirates? Probably. There might be something in the lighthouse we need. If we know, if we can find a way to do that, I assume the current is not in our favor. The current is currently <laughs> not in your favor. <laughs> um, I have a way to... To, to to do the tide is currently in um but you imagine that once the tide goes down closer to nighttime you may have an easier time getting close enough to like make your way across the rocks um i would like to pull goomp aside for a moment and sudden fear mention to them something privately okay, okay. um Got it. And Deegan, can you guys deafen real quick? Oh, oh okay. Um, Ooh. Uh, sure. <laughs> just type in chat when you're done, I guess. I'm just going to my headphones out. It's going to be really fast. True, true fear. Okay. Who has true fear? My headphones are out. True fear. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to teach you how to put my flying glider thing in to your pocket space. Okay, cool. That's it. Cool. All right. Oh, like it's off to the side privately. E e okay, we're back. Uh, no one in chat tell us what it was. Because apparently Raglan wants it to be complete and total secret, even from the DM. So I'm intrigued in where this <laughs> is going. Welcome back, Keegan. Um, so the plan is. I didn't know uh, you meant the Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, Goomp is going to use that ability. And I'm going to tie a rope to Goomp. Okay. And then I'm going to walk as close to the lighthouse as I... How far away is the lighthouse from us? Okay, so like in my mind's eye, the lighthouse is far enough away that it looks small to you. Okay. And there's a lot of like rocky outcroppings between you. If you wanted, you if are you trying to use a goomp as like a, a a grappling hook to to get from one place to another? Is Not that... quite, but kinda. There are. I can more when we get there. <laughs> there are a series of rocky outcroppings between you and the lighthouse. If you wanted to try going from outcropping to outcropping, that's definitely an option for you. Okay, I'm gonna sort of, I'm gonna finish r like ruffling through the the boxes, and motion to Eclair that that is my intent, and okay. then 
head out. And I'm not going to tie the rope to Goop yet. I'll just carry it. Alrighty. All right. Tox waves you by and says, see you later, dudes. Hang loose. And then goes back. I'm going to gonna throw a hammer back and like purposefully just barely miss. He squawks loudly as it crashes something behind him. He goes, not cool, dude. Categorically not dudes. All right. I'm just going to try and be in like, he can help us later. Now he's not going to help us. Oh, he'll help us. <laughs> I turn back to you in fear. Don't don't like that. Goop don't. does not feel safe here. <laughs> Goop doesn't understand the, the powers of the strong yet. <laughs> Goop, no. Goop is probably in the safest location, frankly. <laughs> on the island right now. <laughs> Good. It's everything else that should be afraid. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make our way as close to the to the thing as possible. Okay. So you do manage to like hop your way out onto a couple of rocky outcroppings. It's a decent it's a decent way out there, and eventually you do reach a section where you can't naturally just jump uh, from one rocky outcrop to another. Um, explain to me your plan from getting from one one section to another. Another. If you fail, you fall in yeah, the ocean. Explain to me too, please. I'm well, so the, confused. The plan was gonna be, I tie a rope to Goomp, I throw Goomp at the lighthouse, uh, they splat against it, a la the Wind Waker, they fall down, and then they tie a rope around my glider, and then they push it out to sea. Okay. And that's then they can, like, rope it back. That is very oh, clever. Oh, that's clever. I like it. So I'm going to say that you do manage to get to a point where you're like, I can throw Goomp this far. Uh, and you can definitely give that a shot. I will need you to roll for it. Pog, that is an only a single die. Only a single die. Has nothing to do with flying, nothing to do with hammers. Uh, and I, I'm going to say that is steel, because that's, like, a very calculated maneuver I'm doing. Okay. Unfortunate. On Un very unfortunate, but not so much for you uh, as it is for poor Goomp. <laughs> so you tie the rope around Goomp's midriff, question mark. You wind it up <laughs> and you chuck it. Does Goomp yell anything as he flies oh, through, yeah. through the Oh yeah, Goomp is screaming. Goomp has a lot of as, screaming, As I've he's noticed. getting tied up, he is like sh trembling. He's like, uh... Uh, Goomp flies through the air with the greatest of ease, and the trajectory of it looks like it's going to be a perfect, absolutely perfect toss. And at the very height of the the uh, the trajectory, um, a large shark leaps out of the water, opens its mouth, snaps its jaws shut around Goomp, and then goes back into the water with the rope now attached to the shark. Well, I'm dead. All right, stay tuned, you guys. Bye. <laughs> Press F for Goomp. Uh, Eclair and Rama, you watch Goomp get dragged under the waves and disappear from sight, and you are staring at the empty space where your Goomba compatriot once was. What would you like to do? Well, let's fish him out. <laughs> um, do you know what my CC mode looks like? Because I'm just standing there, arms crossed, with like that expression, just being like, hmm. 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 Why would you tie Goomp to a hammer and then throw the hammer? Oh, you're right. <laughs> can, I, can I can I do a thing? Can I do I was a gonna, thing? I was gonna wait for them to react first, and then I'd cut to you inside the shark. All right. Um. Oh, that's genius, Goomp. I already know it. That that's genius. <laughs> um. Uh. I'm going to. For foam. <laughs> I'm gonna throw like fifty hammers and pray. Okay, you're gonna spray <laughs> and pray. Uh. All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm gonna cut back to. Uh, to, to Goomp then. Goomp, you are suddenly standing inside a very sharp tooth mouth. The rope that's attached to you disappears through this thing's lips and you're standing on its tongue. What do you do? I'm biting its tongue. Um, Not what I expected. The I don't know what you expected. My, 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 my literal banana slamma is to bite shit, so... <laughs> do you want to use your banana slamma? You do have that one token. How much more effective does that make it? Well, I will consider it to already have one success, and you can roll after that. Does that make sense? 
No, I'm so a little confused, sorry. Okay, so when you use your banana token to perform your banana slamma, it's like your final smash in Smash Brothers. It's your like big ending, end all move, right? By mm-hmm. spending a banana token, you performing your move, you have one automatic granted success. Then you decide okay. to roll to see how successful it is otherwise. So you, you already start off with, this is gonna at least somewhat do what you want. And then we go up from there. Mm, I'll save it. You'll save it? Okay. I'll save it. Uh, but this is a purely emotional role because I am now inside of a shark and I don't know what else to do. So it's what my first What is your intention instinct. with biting the shark? Like, what's the game plan here? You're hoping it opens its mouth or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, sure. How Bonk. many D6s would this Grab be? Grab the other end of the rope. Oh. How many D6s? Right, how many? Mm-hmm. Um... Future studies and go to on targets. Not just the one. Just the one. All right. Let's Unless see. Unless I can, I add another for banana slam. I just rolled it. It's a four. All right. Congratulations. Uh, you bite down on this on this tongue, and uh, the camera cuts to the shark who's like swimming around, happy as can be. He just got a big mushroom meal, and then its meal like bites it back, and it opens its mouth to scream in pain, and the water rushes in. Uh, at the exact same time that uh, Eclair pulls back on the uh, on the rope, Goomp, you go flying through free and you pop out of the water, zooming back towards your compatriots. You do, however, now have like fifty hammers flying at you at top speed. Oh no! And once again, screaming again. <laughs> Are you going to attempt to do anything to avoid the Amazing. hammers? Amazing. Do I have? You know what I have? I have my baseball bat. Oh, oh shit! You do. I'm gonna take my baseball bat out of my pocket dimension and start. Oh my god! Things. Just screaming so- with the bat in your mouth. Just. <laughs> <laughs> you pop out of the water, screaming uh, like the day you were born, uh, swinging your bat frantically in midair, which you somehow magically have the purchase to actually do. Uh, you manage to perfectly parry every single hammer that comes your way, and you land perfectly Let's unharmed, go. but still screaming, on the rocky, rocky outcrop in front of Rama and Eclair. Like, ah! <laughs> as soon as I, I land, I just head. go silent. And then I very quickly turn around to Eclair and Rama. <laughs> I pat your little mushroom head. It's okay. You're out of the shark. Uh, I look down. I am like, you can tell like I'm trying to keep composure, but I am like ever so slightly trembling. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Mm. I. <laughs> there was a traumatic experience. Imagine okay. Goomp is gonna like, <laughs> is gonna like. <laughs> It is really sad, but I imagine Goop is gonna like flinch as I like go down to just pat their head. Yeah! <laughs> as many pats. It's okay, it's okay. And then I give them a little hug. Aww. I am one run move away from biting somebody's ankles. <laughs> then I'm gonna take a hammer tied to Goomp and throw Goomp. <laughs> You're getting bit next time I get back. Alright, well. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> I, for the for, for the sake of comedy, I am gonna ask you to roll again, Raglan. Yeah, this time I, there's a hammer involved. There's a hammer this involved. There's a hammer involved. How many dice is that then? <gasps> That's two. That's two. That is two successes, and one of them is in fact your uh, your number. So please be the right fucking button. Oh, thank God. Oh, Keep track Yay. of your banana tokens. <laughs> Amazing. So mm. with two full successes, uh, Goom flies through the air and lands perfectly splat uh, against the uh, against the lighthouse. And uh, the hammer actually embeds itself like into the side of the building and Goom kind of like falls down to the ground unharmed. Tumbling. I'm tumbling. I like look at the throw. I'm like, nice shot. <laughs> and I, I, I <laughs> earlier when I was like, Cease faced with my arms crossed. Now it's like arms crossed in like smug. Like, mm-hmm. Smug. First try. Smug. First try. All right. Yeah, sure thing. So remind me what the plan was with throwing Goomp. You said that you were gonna like what? Tie it to something? Uh, Goomp. Uh, 
Uh, the thing I taught Goomp was how to put my glider into their pocket space. Okay. And now they're going to tie the rope to the glider and just, like, push it. While holding onto the other end. Okay. Uh, is there a rock I can tie the other rope to? Uh, the hammer is- the, the rope is tied to the hammer, which has its, like, uh, striking end jammed pretty tough into the, the lighthouse itself. It's secure. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna tie it and push it back out then. Alright. Uh, the, the, the block flaps its way and hovers over the water, uh, back, uh, back to you guys. Where it f floats next to Rama, patiently. Uh, I think there for a second, and then against my better judgment, I I sort of do a little bow and I motion for the princess to get on first. Uh, lovely. Um, I like I plop myself down, so I'm like sitting, so my legs are like dangling over it, like it's a little bench. And I hop on. Uh, the two of you, the the blocks do jostle a little bit uh, with, a, with a, the combined weight, uh, but it does keep its balance. Uh, as Goomp starts using the rope to pull you guys in, the block hovers over the water, and it begins to sink in. It floats just enough that you guys don't get wet, but it, d it definitely is not able to uh, fly over water with someone on it normally. Had uh, the rope not been there to tug it along, you guys would just floated there kind of aimlessly. Yeah, boy. And you guys make it Excellent. to the lighthouse. Nice. Uh, the block shakes itself like a dog, and the water comes off its wings, which allows it to fly <laughs> again. Hell yeah. Uh, I put it I back pat, in my hammer space. I pat Goop. I'm, like, still trembling. I'm probably going to be trembling for the rest of the I okay. toss Goomp up into the air and I give him a little noogie, like a soft noogie, not a not a I'm painful gonna one. I'm gonna bite your arm. <laughs> I do not like you. Oh, I no. give a hearty laugh. I am afraid. <laughs> oh yeah, earlier I thought you were gonna like break the shark's teeth. By the way, I yeah I considered that, but I just I thought biting would be funnier since that's like my 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 thing. His biting ankles, because he's small, so mm. he bites yeah. things. Imagine yeah. you have a, a meal, and then, like, the vegetable you in, you consumed pulls out a miniature <laughs> baseball bat and starts going ham on your teeth. Exactly. I love that imagine. episode of JoJo's Part 3. JoJo Part <laughs> 3. Oh my god. So the three of you are on this uh, larger rocky outcropping with this tall white lighthouse. Uh, it's not currently lit, as it is still daytime. Uh, and you can hear the sounds of the ocean around you. There is a single door at the base of it, which you presume leads up to where the light itself is. What would you like to do? Knock on the door. Um, yeah. Do, do, do. Uh, you knock on the door, knock, knock, knock. And, uh, there's a moment of silence. And then you hear a voice inside go like, who, who, who on earth? Who on earth? What are you coming around here this time of day? Hold, hold your horses! Hold your horses! And you hear some rustling from inside. Uh, you hear the tap, tap, tap of someone coming down a long set of stairs. Uh, and then the door unlocks and opens up. And out steps a mole. Uh, this mole individual is a, about a head taller than the average toad. Not still kind of short compared to um. Uh, well, actually, probably about uh, probably about up to Rama's shoulders, I guess. Uh, hmm. And uh, it is wearing a uh, a fisherman's cap low over its face, so you can't actually see its eyes, but you can see its snoot uh, poking out from under the brim with a big round blue ball nose at the end. Uh, he's wearing uh, a yellow raincoat and a pair of galoshes, and it peers out at you guys and says, oh, he he Hello? Hello? H can I help you? Uh, uh, yes, in all likelihood obviously. you can. Um, hello. Uh, hi. Uh, are you like a little Monty? Is that your thing? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, am I a what now? Uh, my apologies. We are from mm, one of the mainlands, um, and our plane has crash landed here, and we're trying to get off the island. Oh, I see. Is this your... Hmm? I don't know, you, you go ahead, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. 
Well, I, I was, believe I was interrupting you. I was just going to say that, okay, yeah, no, that checks out. Not, not many of the locals bother to come say hello to, to me over here, old Marvin, but um, it would make sense you guys would head off for the first sign of civilization you saw. <laughs> I'm going to sign how rude you didn't even ask for our names, SMH. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, to be fair, you did come up to my house first, so if anything, you <laughs> should be introducing yourself to me. Uh, I'm Goomp. Hello, Goomp. And once again, I just kind of nod. I just kind of nod. Kind of the same that I did with, uh, with the talks. I nice, signed nice to name. meet you, Goom. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. S real sorry about uh, about uh, you know, crashing here. I mean, uh, no, honestly, it's kind of a miracle y'all survived. Where, where, where'd your, uh, where'd your, your ship or an airplane? Like, what's going on? What's your, what's your uh, dealio? Airplane. 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 Golly. Yeah, it seems it seems to be a common occurrence here. Well, frankly. common enough. Not so much nowadays. Oh, it was uh, somewhere in the jungle, kind of mm. pain in there. Well, uh, what can I do you for then, I guess? I, I just run this here lighthouse. You guys got, like, food, shelter? You got a place to go tonight? I'm going to sign, we're here to take all your money. No, and no, no, I'm gonna no, sign, no, 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 Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, we just want more information. Now, now Sonny... You can't make jokes like that. Some of these, some of these Kongs on the island are packing heat. And I'm gonna pull my gun. That's not. Mm, I mean, I'm I get. Grab I grab the gun with my mouth and tug it away, <laughs> and then spit it across the room and glare at you. I'm gonna go pick it up. Now, I I do not want to uh, assume that where you're from has different uh, cultural to ours. But it's generally considered impolite to threaten people to take their stuff. We work off a barter system here on the island. I'm just like <laughs> nodding, nodding, agreeing, we, looking at you like, yeah. We have heard that. Um, to be fair, they are part of um, what I believe to be um, the, well, hmm. they are part of uh, King Koopa's uh, troopas, I do believe they're called. And I like look over at you for confirmation. <laughs> uh, I don't know about Goom, but I'm going to nod. I kind of also nod. Uh, uh, yes, the 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 troopers and I uh, was just doing some diplomatic endeavors, and unfortunately, we have ended up here. So, Marvin uh, like freezes in place as you mention King Koopa, and he says, "Now, I don't want you to be thinking that I'm a uh, that my mama didn't raise me right, but I'm gonna give you a piece of advice." And then ask you very politely to go away. Don't tell anyone that y'all are with King Koopa. You want to get off this island? You want to go home? People around these parts don't take too kindly to Koopa Troopas. Now you seem I like... Kinda, hmm? I just kind of cut in and just like... Just be like, I don't want to be Koopa, but a Troopa. I want to be a dentist. Gonna, I have no affiliation with the army. I'm gonna raise my eyebrows in shock. Uh, I pull out a toothbrush. Marvin, I have a toothbrush on me. <laughs> Marvin looks at, you do. at Goomp and is like, "Oh well, then just just tell him you're a dentist. Then G good grief. I mean, I all right, but j just don't don't mention the Koopa Troop. People on this island, some of them's got a history." Uh, with the troop, and they will take too kindly to knowing that any more of their foot soldiers are on the land. So, um, I'm gonna close well, this. The easiest way would be to get us off the land. Do you have any advice on that? We are not interested in staying for a particularly long amount of time. Well, uh, I guess you could just wait around these parts until someone from the mainland decides they want to come over here for a holiday and hitch a ride back. Don't know when that would be, though. Uh, if you're looking for a boat, uh, you could try with the pirates, but they're more likely to keel haul you if they find out you're Koopas. I'm gonna brandish two hammers and smile. 
Now, this one seems violent, and I don't like your ch your chances. Maybe you two should split off and figure things out on your own. Because this one ain't going to last terribly long, I don't think. I'm going to throw... There's a mole? It is a mole, yes. No. I'm, I'm going to throw... Must you attack everything? I'm just immediately <laughs> stopping. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I'm going to throw again. my hands up in disbelief. <laughs> How dare your party not allow you to murder <laughs> Hobo every NPC. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> this mole is going to have to catch these hands. <laughs> uh, Mar I'm going to toss hmm? Marvin a dirty look. Uh, Marvin's fault, dear. He just lives here. He's just giving us some advice. Uh, Marvin says, there, there's plenty of other folk living in the jungle. You want to head in that away? See if maybe one of them's willing to trade you something to make a make a raft. And, uh, you know, if you can get yourself some kind of ship-shaped ship, I can definitely point you in the right direction to sail if you want to hit dry land sooner than later. Would like to stay as dry as possible, frankly. I, I feel that in my bones, ma'am. I feel that in my bones. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hmm. Well, uh, hmm. if and you don't be minding, I'm gonna go back to my book. Uh, good luck, everyone, and maybe wait, I'll wait, see. Wait, wait, would you? Wait. Would you mind? Would you mind if we just took a peek from the top of the lighthouse so we could get sort of a lay of the land, and then we'll be on our way? You, you threaten me with hammers and ass to come into my house. I feel like you don't really I understand. Didn't, we didn't, didn't we didn't didn't do all, to be fair. You know, <laughs> who is him? I said nothing of the sort. Sure, why, I've been why not? Why not? Diplomatic. Yeah, sure, why not? Come come on in, I guess. I guess, sure, fine. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and he leads the way. The inside of the lighthouse uh, as a, a series of uh, twisting uh, metal stairs. You can see that like in every nook and cranny on the way up, he's like put stuff in the walls. There's like a little reading nook. He has bookshelves. Uh, he has a little kitchenette halfway up Aww, there. This is such a darling abode. <laughs> why, why, thank you. Why, thank you. This here place was built by, well, the Kremlings, honestly, uh, about a decade or so back. Once they left, I took it over and started lighting the lighthouse to keep any ships from crashing into these here rocks. Uh, you saw those pirate ships out there. First wave of Kremlings weren't too smart, you know? They didn't really care too much about what was in front of them. They just wanted to get on the beach. So once they built this, they, they lost a few ships than there they used to, you know? <laughs> Time of day is it? Just curious. Night. It is not it is night. night. It is not night. It no. is not night. I told you. The opposite <laughs> of nighttime is daytime. It's it's daytime. It's not late enough in the day for the the water the 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 the, the tide to have gone out uh, far enough for you guys to just walk to the lighthouse. Okay, I was just I was just thinking like just sleeping wise like where are we going to sleep and ah, stuff. Very smart of you. Um, yeah. A problem for future you. True. Um, but he does lead you to the very top of the lighthouse, and once you reach it, you can see pretty much the same thing you saw, but from a higher vantage point. You can see the ocean stretching out in front of you. You can see some of the, the shipwrecks of various pirate ships dotted here and there about the area. What exactly are you looking for? Do I know anything? <laughs> you, you cut out. Can you say that again? Do I know anything about the Kremlings? Ah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Um, Cause they have a king, right? Oh, they sure do. They sh well, they did. Uh, <gasps> they did. We don't have like an insight check in this system. Um, what are your expertises? I'm gonna ask you to roll for it. Would would either of your expertise uh, assist in knowing things about? My unique Ooh. ability is leadership, and I am a princess. Mm -hmm. So, oh, okay. That's what I think I would call on. What was that, Mocha? One of my uh, expertise is I'm very dedicated to my future studies. So I'm a fast reader and learns very quickly. And we are surrounded by books. Oh, <gasps> that is very uh -huh. true. So I'm, Can I'm gonna do like a Professor Frankly and just like flip through a whole bunch of books. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to Marvin and just be like, D do you mind if I look at some of these books? 
Uh, and uh, Marvin looks down at you and says, "Ah, fellow reader, huh? Well, okay, uh, not quickly. <laughs> you, 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 you did stop your friend here from knocking my brains out. You know what? Why not? Just don't get them wet. You hear? I, I have a hard enough time keeping them dry on my own. All right, I'm gonna scamper on away. I'm gonna see if I can find books about the land to figure out kind of where we are." Are any like ways that we can get off this island that are so basically? Quick with how the... do I solve the problem directly in front of me? Yeah, pretty well, and also <laughs> just kind of like more about where we are. So like, sure thing. We, can, we know where to go for help, more help if we need it. So what I'm gonna have so kind of um... like atlases, other survival guides, maybe things about like the local fauna and flora. So like if we need to get food, mm -hmm. if there's a hotel or a tavern <laughs> or something. Tavern. Something we can like just a resort I mean, just location, will, perhaps a resort location, just somewhere that like so we can also sleep at I night. I will point Kinda out like that it, this is this one guy's personal collection of books. It's not fucking Google. So <laughs> I, I, oh, I was getting the idea that he had like a mini library or something. He he has essentially enough books that it's essentially a mini library. But whether or not the titles are useful to you is going to be determined on on your roles. Just so, the Harry oh, Potter enough. series. Just the Harry Potter series in multiple Those are kind of the general things I'm looking for, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Tegan roll first to see if the if the Kremlings, uh, like, spark anything uh, in her her knowledge base. Uh, okay. Since you, your special ability is leadership, I will consider that an expertise for the purpose of this role. Oh, my job is princess, though. Yes. Which I think is also the same, like, vibe. Squints at um, you. Royal shit. You know. Anyway. Anyway. Only, it's only two dice either way. So. Only two dice either way. All right. And is it steel or spirit? Uh, I think it's steel. Okay. So you got to hit a three or like, below. Yeah. Uh, one success. One success. So uh, you uh, you think about it and you're like, you don't remember... You don't remember anything about Kremlings in particular, uh, but the the way that he pronounced it, uh, something like pings in the back of your head, uh, and I'll just I'll just assume you're, you're, you you ask if it's gonna like a C or a K for Kremlin. He goes, oh oh, it's a K. Them Kremlings, they they name all their stuff with a K. I don't know, it's a cultural thing, and then it clicks for you. This person is talking about critters. Uh, which are a race of uh, crocodilian creatures from uh, from the from the the southwest. Uh, they don't really have, to your knowledge, they don't have much of an organized uh, like dictatorship or democracy. They don't really have much of a government. Uh, mm -hmm. But you do know that they tend to be around bear country, uh, which you do know uh, due to your diplomatic efforts. Uh, to be basically like, or ba basically the equivalent of like South America. Mm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm, we're well away from home then. Uh, Mocha, I'm gonna switch to you. Uh, how many dice do you plan on rolling? And is this research gonna be steel or spirit? Um, it's probably gonna be steel because I'm like focusing, just kind of intellect and everything, fast okay. reading, you know. And how many um, dice you roll? Uh, well, there's the one dice, and then there's a mm -hmm. second because of the expertise, right? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that's. So I'm rolling two dice then. Okay. All right. You got want to hit ones or twos? Bonk. That Ayo. is one exact six, one exact uh, banana slam a number. So you get a banana token. Ayo. There you go. Keep track of that. Banana. Uh, with only one success, you accomplish what you intend to do, but there's a complication. So first off, this guy is heavy on the romance novels. Like you're looking through the shelves. <laughs> Good. It's mostly just romance novels. But like it, from like, there's no like one set genre. It's like one science fiction, one's comedy. Uh, there's one that's like a historical uh, documentary. But like, obviously, they've written fan fiction about two historical figures. Um, it's just a lot of gay romance okay. books. Uh, and but you do, in fact, find one book, uh, Fifty Shades of Bananas. Yes. Oh uh, my goodness. Uh, there's one where it's like two two uh, apes, and both of them are uh, wearing jeans and no shirts with cowboy hats on. Uh, nice. 
the good shit, yeah. So uh, you do find one book, and at first you don't even notice that it is a book because you're looking at like what they, they appear to be like scavenged books that were found from like the crashes and stuff. These were like collected from around the island as opposed to being printed here. Um, but you do find one book that is actually a series of banana leaves that has been uh, bound up uh, and is kind of like in the back. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I got it. There you go. Thanks. Uh, so, um, you pull this book out and you notice that it appears to be like handwritten and you can't really tell what the title says, um, but you open it up and inside there are actually a bunch of diagrams, uh, with regard to like the local flora and fauna. Uh, you see some that looks like a piranha plant, but hairier and a lot of symbols that like to your mind's eye are like, don't, 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 this is dangerous, go away. Uh, you see, like, various fruits and various colors that have, like, like good, happy, set, like, scratches next to it. This appears to be, like, some sort of, like, menu of what foods are okay to eat and what are not okay to eat on the island. Cool. And that's the information that you were able to glean from this. Alright, it's, it's something. I guess I'll keep it in mind. Uh... Yeah. Uh... I, Marvin I, is. I, I won't take. Yeah, I won't take the book from him. But I like. I've absorbed the knowledge. I'm a quick learner. Okay. Then you you now have the knowledge of uh, some local flora and uh, local flora. Mm -hmm. uh, back on top of the lighthouse, uh, Marvin is pointing out, saying, "Now over there is where those pirates are. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with them if you intend on just going on and telling them you're Koopa. But I mean, you do you. You do you." Uh, he points out. Obviously, we got the ships back here. He turns around and he points towards the mountain. He says, "You see on the other side of that peak, all those smokestacks and whatnot, right? You see all that?" Yes. If you. If you mm -hmm. If you follow any advice I've given you today, let it be this one. Don't bother going over there. When the Kremlings came in, they built up their machines and their their big buildings, and they spilled all sorts of gunk. We've been trying to clean it up, us people of the island, but it's been a few years and we've barely made any headway. No food to be found, no shelter, just a whole lot of gross gunk. Keep clear of it, if I were you. I hear the, uh, the Kongs go over there to gather supplies, is that correct? Mm, sometimes, sometimes. A couple of them are, like, like tinkering with stuff. They like figuring out how machines work and recreating them in ways that aren't so dangerous as those, those Kremlings did. Uh, they, they go over there and they dismantle things and take some stuff back with them if it's useful. <laughs> if it's useful. Yeah, yeah. We got a barter mm. system. If somebody, lo it looks like somebody's gonna want it. It's it's worth something, you know. Mm. What sort of things are useful, though? Well, it depends on the person. So if we went over there, say we went over there, and we found a thing that could actually reverse the gunking. Uh, I mean, that that sounds real nice. I wouldn't say no if you somehow knew how to, but again, we've been trying to clean this mess up for years, and we haven't made much of a headway. I did just tell you you shouldn't go. You know what? At this point, I've I've done my I've done my job. If you want to go over there and risk your lives, then I I can't really stop you. We do appreciate the warnings. Uh. Thank you for letting us look at your lighthouse. Of course, uh, we'll of course. We'll be on our way, and I look at um, Rama and Goomp. Mm -hmm. I nod. All right. I also nod. We're just like, yeah. I kind of right. like bow, kind of ish, or just kind of like little nod sort of thing. I should say, just to be like, thank you. I leave helping. a hammer. You <laughs> leave a hammer. You just hand him a hammer. A useful tool. He looks at it and looks up and says, If this is some kind of, like, olive branch, I'll take it. We take those dubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, good good <laughs> luck out there. Maybe oh, I'll also, see you. Um, hmm? uh, no, keep going. No, no, you go first. Uh, I want to just, like, just, uh, very quickly just pull him aside outside um and then point up at where the hammer indented 
I didn't say sorry. Uh, he, 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 he comes out with you. He's like, what, what's going, what's going on? You gotta show me something. Ah, gosh darn it. Really? Really? Golly gee. And he like scratches his, he scratches underneath his hat. He's like, man, I ain't even tall enough to reach that. Did you have to? Uh, all right, fine. Um, so I have a are question. Are we... Mm. I, I was I was just gonna ask real quick. Is, are we all okay? Is it just him, or are we all outside now? Uh, did you guys? So did you? Uh, let me clarify, uh, Raglan. Did you intend to like walk him to the side of the lighthouse and point down, or did you intend to walk him outside from the bottom and point up to it? Uh, from the bottom point up. Okay, so then all of you should have like exited the building together. Okay. If that's the case, I'm gonna turn to Marvin and be like, "To be fair, he did also throw me in a shark's mouth," and just kind of nods, like I almost died. I'm gonna have a nice chuckle at that one. <laughs> Marvin turns um, around. And Marvin turns around and says, "Please leave. Just, just please." He's like, I'm so done with this. Not just a disaster group. Oh my you goodness. You are a disaster group. I, I've been nice. I told you what I needed to tell you. Now please leave before something else happens. Golly gee. And he goes back into his house and closes the door. <laughs> uh, oh, Man. wait. I was going to, I was going to, that was my, my other question. Uh, for Marvin um, specifically or for me? For you. Oh, okay. So my unique ability is, quote, being cool. Okay. And I don't want to like rules lawyer, so feel free to just like shoot this down, but uh, or like have me change my unique ability. Uh, but the rules say like your unique ability just comes naturally to you. That's true. Uh, does that mean I would still have to roll for something that is related to being cool, or would I not? I think if the being cool, there's a difference between being cool to be cool or being cool to accomplish something else. If it reaches a to, to accomplish something else, then I would probably ask for a role. Um, what is What do you have in mind? I wanted to, like, while Marvin was still with us, like, give him a wink and then throw a hammer up without looking to dislodge the other hammer and then catch both of them. Okay, so he. I'm going to say he did go inside. I'm not going to retcon that. But if you want to do that, uh, you can just do it. Uh, and then... Oh. So you, so Rama does that, throws the hammer out, the other hammer comes down. Uh, Marvin comes running out of his house going, Can you not, Marvin? Oh, you got it out. Oh, okay, you got it out. Um, This has been an emotional roller coaster ride. <laughs> and I appreciate this action. But still, please leave. <laughs> he takes both. He takes the hammer. Get out of my he, wall. he now has two hammers with a rope. Why is there a rope tied to this? You know, I don't want to know. He binds it up and goes back into his house. Oh, damn. We actually needed that rope. Uh. Rip. Huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up and like just kind of kick the door as if I'm knocking because I don't have hands. I'm not opening the door again. I need a nap. Can we have our can we have our rope back? Uh, a window, a porthole window creaks open, and the rope is unceremoniously <laughs> dumped on the floor. The window closes again. <laughs> Thank Poor man. We need to return with like a gift basket or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I ever get off this island, I'll send cookies. Very nice. Um. So do we just uh, repeat the same plan, but backwards? You guys managed to make your way back to the, the shore <laughs> uh, without any issues. By this point, the sun oh. is beginning to set and you do have to worry about shelter. What is your guys' plan for the night? Um, um, hammers are not good at like creating planks. They're good at using planks after the fact, but I don't know how we're going to get like planks i mean is that shelter. not a tree thing like can you knock down a tree with your hammers that's the thing like i don't i don't think how so how far is the shop uh you could basically you could get to the shop no 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 problem is there by chance we could go there and ask talks if there's any place to stay true oh yeah that's a good idea 
Or like while we do that, or a shelter for a night. I want to like just start collecting big leaves that are already on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you guys start like, heading like back down. Leaves. You start heading back down the beach. There's a bunch of like banana branch, uh, banana trees uh, along the side yeah. of the the tree line, and with that, uh, there's some natural leaves that have fallen. So you do start collecting a bunch of like but big big banana fronds uh, as you travel down. Uh, you reach the the shop, uh, which now has a bunch of like leafy vines have been pulled across the front of it, and like a driftwood sign that says uh, "closed" is hanging in front of it. But you do see there's a light coming from inside the body of the air sh of the, the the plane itself, uh, and uh, you hear some like some 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 uh, muffled uh, like uh, reggae music going on from inside. Hmm. Why don't you go up and ask? Hmm. It's a tough puzzle. It, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we God. should just go up and ask. <laughs> mm, but reggae music, though. <laughs> <laughs> what could it possibly it's mean? Really, uh, not my preferred genre. Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm so gonna. Me, as, I'm a, gonna as a more. mushroom adjacent character, is not. <laughs> oh, actually, that Jesus was another Christ. question earlier. No, like I, I assume, I assume we're speaking. <laughs> Did you not hear what they said? As a mushroom adjacent character, I am not safe. <laughs> because... Oh, true. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, that was another question I was going to ask earlier, but I assume since we're English speaking, uh, that Goomp is indeed a mushroom and not a chestnut. I mean. It, it, it's either way. I don't mind. It, there's no deep lore in my adventure I have planned where that's going to be like <laughs> coming into play. You can be like a Karibo or like a Mushroom Goomba, whichever one you want. Bet. I'm gonna I knock. Have both. <laughs> uh, you knock no, on the close. door. Uh, after a moment, uh, the hatch swings open. And on the in, like, the, the, the door opens with a lever similar to the door to the pilot's. Um, the pilot's uh, cabin on your ship. So the, the the door swings open, and Tox, being a cockatiel, had to like land on the lever to make it open. So he swings out with the door, and he goes, "Howdy, doody, dudes! Oh, it's you guys again! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, how how can I? Uh, what what what's uh what's up? Uh, we were just wondering if you knew somewhere we could stay and maybe sleep for the night. So we're not sleeping outside." And I look up with, with, to him with really big eyes. Uh, he lo Aww. he lowers his sunglasses to look at you, and then he looks up at Princess Eclair and Rama, and he lets out like a small sigh, like, ah, "Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> nope, nope. Come on, come, come, come on in, guys. Come on in, everyone. Bustle up. You can you can stay with me for the night, guys." Fox is great. <laughs> yeah, I just got well. a bottle on in. <laughs> I drop my leaves. Uh. Is this for payment or like what? What's uh, what? I'm just gonna sign you Plan B. That that my dudes is radically sad. No, nope, get in here, get in here. I'm not. I I don't want that on my conscience. Come on, get in here. And he leads you inside. Uh, curious. Mm hmm. Uh, is talks like preparing food or anything? Uh. Not really. Let me describe the inside no. of this of this plane uh, real quick, because technically there is plenty of food inside. Uh, you get inside, and it looks uh, it, it looks like uh, a surf shack exploded and and somehow simultaneously threw up on the inside. There's a bunch of oh, like wow. wrecked and damaged like surfing memorabilia. There's multiple pairs of sunglasses just everywhere. There's do rags on like every possible surface that can like hold like headwear. Um, you see uh, a bunch of mechanical bits and bobs in one corner that uh, is it's oil stained and are in uh, just a bunch of random mechanical pieces. And uh, aside from a big uh, hammock hanging on the far end of the plane body, uh, you do see that like every nook and cranny, there's like oranges and bananas. There's just a whole bunch of like various tropical fruits just all over the place. 
Uh, I was just curious if I could see any of the food that I, or like fruits or whatever that I saw were uh, poisonous oh. in the book. Uh, no, so you, I can let him know as quote unquote payment. You do not notice anything poisonous. You think one of the oranges might actually be like a lime uh, that should not be that color. Uh, but aside from that, like you don't notice anything majorly out of the ordinary. Okay. Well, there goes my plan. All right. <laughs> he says, come on in, dudes. Uh, you can help yourself to some of the fruit if you like. It grows normally in the, the jungle, so you can just kind of grab it. It's not much of a big deal. Just uh, find a nice spot to curl up, and uh, you guys like music? And he, like, reaches his claw over to turn up the volume knob on the um, uh, the radio that's playing the reggae music. Um, whatever you think is... Uh, best. Heck yeah, let's jam! And he fucking cranks it. What if we didn't jam? Um, I'm going to immediately curl up in a corner and make very loud sleeping noises. I'm gonna hop into one of the boxes I ransacked earlier. Oh, you're uh, gonna sleep in the box? No, oh, yes. Sleep in the box, sort of like We're squat. We're in the plane, not the shop. Uh, oh. There is a box, an open box, that uh, has a bunch of that hay in it, like like, a, like an empty storage box is sitting in the back waiting. So you can hop into that if you like. Hell yeah. Um, and that is where we are going to wrap up the main adventure for tonight. Before we disappear, though, uh, there is uh, one thing that I would like to, uh, a little cutscene that I want to show mm. off. Uh, before Ooh. before we go away, so uh, let me let's see it. Hold on, hold I want to see it. It's more me Show describing. Me. It's me more know. me describing it due to the nature. Um, and then we pop over here, and I press this button. Ah, thank God it worked. All right. No. Far away from where you guys are currently nestled down in safety with a loud talking parrot and some quite too loud music um deep in the heart of the jungle it is dark and it is scary a single toad is his, his professional outfit torn and tattered uh his hat long missing uh and his uh, mushroom head a little too stretched out for his own good um is making his way through the brush slowly shakingly and terrified as he tries to find somewhere safe to hunker down for the night uh, a creature calls out to his side, and he jumps away from it, even though it's obviously, like, very, very far away. And he goes, oh, I don't like this one bit! Man, I could have been a doctor, but no, I had to take to the skies! My mother told me that no good would come from becoming an airline pilot! And I'm like, no, ma, it's good money! It's good money! And all I had to do was, ah! And he spins around as something rustles in the bush next to him. Uh... And uh, Pilot Toad uh, hears from somewhere behind him a low growl of a beast. Uh, and Toad slowly turns around and says, oh. As a pair of eyes uh, look at him from the bush, uh, the creature slowly moves through the, through the underbrush, uh, sounding very loud for how much motion is happening. And a, a, a crocodilian head pokes out and looks at him with a big bloodshot eye and <gasps> smiles with sharp, razor-sharp, gleaming white teeth. And that is where we're going to end the adventure for tonight. Oh, no, Toad. <laughs> Hooray! Hey, oh. Woo! 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 I, I, I have one question, not related to the campaign, but related to Princess Eclair. Hmm. Yes? I have to ask, is that, that, that sprite, that princess, I'm assuming is supposed to be Princess Eclair, that's on the stream? Yes. yes. Is that Raspberry Cookie from Cookie Run? That well, was the design. We're not talking about that. <laughs> that was the design that Tegan said, I want this exactly, but human. And I'm like, okay, well, now I have to make a fucking custom sprite in Princess uh, Super Princess Peach style in order to match every everyone else. So I did. I customed that sprite from nothing. Damn, nice. I love that. I was, gonna say, I, was I wanted to say something at the beginning, but I was like, I don't want to just, like, 
take us out of the fantasy of it. But I, like, no, but I opened up my correct. game because I have her, and I'm just like, wait a minute. Yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I also found out that apparently the music stopped playing after the first hour, and we've been just li listening to the um uh, the, uh, the the jungle noises since then. So that's fun. Zed. Don't know why that happened. Were you listening on YouTube? Uh, no, I have a uh, I have my iTunes. It, it 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 connects to a a program that I have that allows the name to appear on the stream. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh no, Toad's about to be jumped by PS1 Hagrid. No! Oh no! You're a wizard, Toad. You're a wizard, Toad. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, this was episode one of a four-part adventure. We will be continuing the adventure next Sunday, same time, 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll then be taking a break for the Christmas weekend and picking back up in January. Uh, if you guys want to follow my lovely players, uh, you can find them on Twitter. Uh, Tegan, you're part of the Impossible Coin Podcasts. They can find you at, mm -hmm. at Impossible Coin. Uh, you can find Mocha at Mocha Mage, not Mocha Mages. Mocha that's Mages. their that's their Twitch. You can know on 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 Twitter. On Twitter, it's at Mocha Mage, uh, and uh, obviously Raggles, your Prince Raglan on Twitter and Twitch. Is that correct? Yeah, everywhere, baby. All right. Did you guys have a good time? Did you enjoy that? I did. Get wrecked. Thank you. Good. Well, I'm we excited. will see you guys next week for when the adventure really gets kicked off. Um, Are you sending there, off a raid? Is there? Do we have anyone, anyone we can raid? Any suggestions? I see for many raids? people. So many people. I want to recommend. Do you want to maybe raid a Pokemon Nuzlocke player? I was gonna say the same person. Hey, okay. Yo. All right. Uh, how do I spell that? There you go. In chat. Oh, Vol oh, Volshock! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We'll raid Volshock, yeah. and I'll accidentally give you Ooh. another banana token, whatever. Amazing! Oh, and I get <laughs> a token. token. All right, you know what? You get a token. You get a token too. Why not? Oh, banana! banana. <laughs> so many banana! All right, thank you guys for joining us. I will see you later. Go ahead and hit that raid. Hi. That's incorrect. That's Hold not on. how you do that. You right. have a slash. Oh, oh, banana, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana, oh, banana. Where else can we find? Okay, well, what's your Discord? My Discord? Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, oh banana. banana. Fucking hell. All right. Raid. Oh, shot. I put it right this time. Make it stop. There's so many <laughs> bananas. Thank <laughs> fuck it works. Okay, we're, oh, we're, we're getting out of here. I have a little we're raid leaving. message. Oh no, banana. It does not. Everyone scream. Shooting. Everyone spam oh banana when we show up. All right? Oh, uh, okay. banana. Oh, yeah, I mean, banana. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 See you later. Ooh. And we wait. Five, four, three, two, one and stop streaming.